Mm. Oh, listen, Mr. Butcher. Uh, I've got a bone to pick with you. A bone? A bone. Ooh. I came to your store yesterday. Yeah. Couldn't get in the damn place. Well, I'm busy as Butcher and Tilly Jones. I, no, but I appreciate that. But I couldn't get past the hordes of protesters outside. You mean the hordes of customers? The protesters. There was protesters outside your shop. Well. Now, I, I'm not one to throw sticks and stones and break bones. Did you break my bones? Possibly. However, th- th- this it was these fucking idiots are all the kind of dreadlocked hippies with a big sign saying meat is murder and... You, European hippies, they're fucking scary. They're fucking... They're a nightmare. Oh, they're rusty idiot. jugglers. Ex- exactly. <laughs> they're all the... Oh, fucking... Oh, meat is murder. You know, be a vegetarian. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to walk away now. That's walking away, though. One of them broke pack and came running towards me with a flyer and said, Here, sir, have this flyer about being a vegetarian. We have a club, you know, that we meet every Tuesday and Thursday. I went, No, thank you. I enjoy my steak very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, bye-bye now. She said, so do, oh. I, so do I, actually. She, 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 said, um, she said, oh, do, do I know you? And I went, no, I, I don't think you know me at all. She said, no, no, I think I know you. I think I've met you before. A vegetarian the, thinks she knows you. Yes, uh, I think I know, I've met you before at the Vegetarian Club Tuesdays and Thursdays. I went, no, I've, I've, you know, I've never met herbivore. Herbivore! Herbivore! The fucking vegetarian. This is Dog House Bartid Radio. <laughs> Bonjour, je de l'ors, become mentally vues. John de Lise's. John's and, and, and Renault's boss. Do you hear uh, this ep- episode? Uh, Papa Nicole. Uh, Papa, uh, episode 149. Puta mer. Uh, G. I think, I, think we're, I think we're G now. G. Uh, hello, folks. Welcome to this episode of the DHB Radio Show. As always, my name is Scott Taylor, the host of the proceedings. Joining me today in studio are two horrible bastards. We First of all, we have the Lurch Monster. How are you, sir? Hello, pals. Hello, oh, hello pals. Hello. <laughs> and in seat two, we have Mr. Pink. How are you? Hello. I love that. I love that. That's like my favorite thing he does with the whole show. A gradient of voice. Yes, it, it it sounds great as well because the the leveling software seems to enjoy that and and really you know it Does adds it? it adds good. Are di- you sure? What a fucking dick he is these <laughs> days, isn't he? Is it just me? I mean, people have even emailed in saying that you've become a right cock these days because there's only so much you can do on Skype. Let's face it. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, how the fuck are you? have you been recently? Obviously, uh, Lurch, we haven't seen oh, you no, for ask a... him first. I've been a shit Anyway, weekend. Oh, have you anyway, really? Uh, I have to take exception. People are writing in saying how I have become such a cunt. Sorry, I've always been a cunt. There has not been a lull. No, I... no, no. It's not, that, it's not that you've... There's been a lull. I think what it is is that for people who know you especially, is that the thin line between the real you... And the pink you is becoming slightly more hazy these days. Is that now it's almost like the pink. Do you know how when Spider Man had the Venom costume, certainly in the comic books, and the Venom costume, the black costume, of course, started to change his personality, started mm. to. The, his persona basically became that costume, became that kind of nasty and more kind of wicked and evil. This Dickish. is what's happened to you wearing that pink balaclava. You're becoming that cunt. Who you know you've you've well played over the last hundred and forty nine G amount of shows. How 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 very dare thee? How do Listen, you mean, what do you mean? How very dare me? Listen, we have conclusive proof. You fucked off with my steak, you horrible prick of a boy. Oh whoa whoa whoa! The old whoa, the old whoa. the old uh, <laughs> other name I can't mention person <laughs> would would have gone. You know what? I'll keep that steak and I'll I'll bring it in to my good I, friend. It, that's and what he pal. told me. That's what he told oh. me. Oh no no! Oh. <laughs> Before we even start recording, you told me you're making that cunt into a pie. There, uh, hold on, hold on. Back I don't know. Up. There's no holding on here, you fuckbag. You've changed. Somebody. You have changed, sir. Back I'm proud to you that you're now a glorious cunt of a man. Somebody, back up. Somebody said pie. Does it have hairs? Uh, oh. Back up. Listen, <laughs> listen. I strolled into said shop. Right. 61 Hayton Road, Tilly Butcher. That's the one. Right. And 
I was in there, and, and I was not looking for excess amounts of meat. In fact, meat that you could carve four ex-president faces into. Perfect. I wasn't looking Perfect. for it. Perfect. Mount Meat More. Oh, oh that's, that's the one. Oh. Oh, I'll tell you. I wasn't looking for it. That's why I call my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, try, trying to think of something suitable to say, but can't actually. But yeah, exactly. But no, no, it was it was thrust upon, nay, thrown at Th- myself and Philippish. Are you are you d- daring? I thrusted to, my meat upon them. Are you daring <laughs> to cast aspersions on my good friend, the Baron von Large Monster, and trying to claim that it was all his his thinking or his doing? Sorry, to cast said meat upon you, that you. And this whole thing are nothing more than an innocent poor wee victim. Oh, look at me. Woe is me. I have done nothing wrong. Well, fucking, please, sir, can I have some more? I don't want to be an orphan in the streets, you Listen, fuck of a boy. When I walked into the butchers, it wasn't a situation where like there was a cacophony of meat. And in the middle, like in the film with John Candy, a old 96er was sitting in the middle. And I went, oh, I'll have a fucking bit, little bit of that bad boy. Right. No, this was, this was wrapped behind the counter. An old old uh, b- butcher boy here says, "Oh, here you might as well fucking take this, seeing as he never came out for a oh. steak." Exactly, Mundo. There you go. So, so take ah, that back. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, there was, there was no fucking protesters outside listen, the shop, aren't right? they? Listen, I'll, I'll give you that much, right? And hold on, I'm such. But a then, fucking... oh, no, 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 oh, fucking, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> let me see my piece here. So you then said, "Okay, I'll take said steak." Now, if it had been me, I would have gone, you know what? I'm going to see him in a couple of days. I'll stick it in the old freezer, bring it out and go, here's your steak, pal, because you couldn't make it in because you were busy at the for- at your work and you know you, c- you couldn't go in and pick up your birthday. Your birthday steak. Not even like a steak in passing. Your birthday steak, Listen, which, how, you, which you famously as- is as big as my head. How do you know that that was not the plan? Exactly. Well, because my birthday was about three weeks ago now, that's why. You've had ample opportunity to come in with the bastard. Your birthday was prior to me fucking collecting the steak from the shop anyway. No, it was not. It How was. very dare birthday you, sir. Birthday steak. I, Weekend. I am just, I am Post fueled birthday by. birthday steak. So you would and slip it, your Paul some meat for their birthday, would you? And anyway. Absolutely, I would. <laughs> you're, you're saying the blurring of the lines. Believe me, Mr. Pink would not have gone out his way to deliver his deliver a bed for a, a Ms. Johnson on the fucking Facebook, who is a friend of the show, right? who on Facebook recently went, hey, is anyone out there maybe got like a van and could maybe, you know, drop off a bed? I went, huh, I do. But, but listen, right. Now that's a good turn for <laughs> that's someone. That's a good turn, but then this also leads back. In fact, back. that's not only just a good turn, that's a Z-list celebrity turning up to open an envelope kind this of turn. This also leads back, though, to a previous complaint that you've made. Is that when we've discussed before about how if you have a certain skill set or you have things that you can use to help others, for yes, example, I, and I, people say to you, you know, oh, and you get harangued by folks saying, can you fix this or can you move that? Like or have an abundance you... to meet but, in your shop. Perhaps. Exactly. But, but I, was, I was recompensed for that. There was a, there was a, there was a, 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 an agreement of transactional funds. Oh, was there? Yes, there was, but significantly less than, say, how, how should we say, official good carrying uh, uh, chaps would would charge significantly less than say a courier service would, would charge oh, for said removals or removal stroke removals. unbelievable they, okay they were delighted they were delighted so hey you know this this blurring of lines is just mere hearsay my How friend very mere hearsay <laughs> So, so, <laughs> so, I mean, apart from that, of course, Pink, uh, how have you been recently? Do you know what? I, I, right, I have an interesting weekend, but there was a funny thing that happened. Oh, really? Right. There was someone who, shall we say, called, like, say, my brother, right? Right. right. Okay. Okay. Who, uh, at, at the weekend... Was Mr. Re- Brown. Mr. Brown. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Pinklet. Uh, the pink- right. Okay. So... Uh, my brother had gone out and bought himself some home grooming products. Clamps. Okay. Grooming products. I love them. You do love them. I love them. Oh no. Now what he had bought was bulldog clips. Now you know you know what you know what men do. You know what men do, right? They buy Masturbate. something. No, no, no. You well, they do, right? right. But they, buy, buy something. Uh, instructions. Kit to fuck. Yes. Kit to fuck. Flat pack furniture. Fuck off. Oh go Screwdriver. Beer. Oh monstrosity. Uh. Right. <laughs> instructions flung to fuck so he bought himself a home grooming kit oh lovely to give the old to give it the old that you know because as in ad- our advancing years uh-huh. hair is appearing in places which you didn't think were possible was it a hair, hair is leaving places that are important 
and reappeared in places that are really, really not important. <laughs> it's like they've gone on a journey to the center of the earth, yes. turned, turned right and gone, oh, we're making a break for freedom out of okay. your fucking... Out, out of the, your nose. You wake up in the morning, you got a fucking three-inch hair sticking at the top of your lug. What the, <laughs> where the fuck did that come from? I feel like Steve, I've no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Oh. So youthful. Of course, of course. So, so youthful. <laughs> so <yeah>. youthful. <laughs> so... You can imagine, you can imagine my my mere delight, right? When, right. When my brother, uh, when I was home at the weekend, I uh, bought this uh, home grooming kit. So he was like, oh, look at that. It's got some fucking eyebrow drummers here. Look at oh, these fucking bad boys. No. So I was like, oh, I sweet. And then off into the old bathroom, giving it the old, oh, well, like this. It came out, I'm not joking you, it looked like Dappy, right? I can only imagine. <laughs> and, and it was, uh, it goes, Tell me he cut tram lines into his eyebrows. No, no, not just tram line. Th- there was like a fucking inch gap of fucking, oh. uh, like, because he didn't, he, he didn't, he thought they'd just sort of run it over and it'll just go, and it'll fucking just gently. Okay. No, it went, <laughs> <laughs> right, t- down to the bone. Now, uh-huh. what was even funnier was he thought, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to town. I'm going to look like a fucking twat. Oh, you have to even them out? You have to even them out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, you could oh, even no. them or, out. Or, 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 can I suggest, you could draw it back in again. Yes! Oh, right. oh, oh no! Now. Please tell me that's not true! Now, what, what I did was... <laughs> He, he went. He went to the old, uh, no. the, the old whiteboard that we've got for writing the old messages on and various things and whatnot. You know, like right. the, the reminders board. Yes, oh, the old black. much like our cunt league board. Yes, cunt league board. Yes, white marker type pen. Right. Well, that'll wash <laughs> off. So that'll maybe do. So he went and now, now my brother does have black hair and he went and he was like, oh, well, a wee bit of wee surger here. Well, I'm not joking you. Uh-huh. He came out looking like a Jim Henson creation with this, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> with this drawn on fucking eyebrow. Well, no, I lost the power to my genitals. Sort of the, <laughs> oh, my legs were going. I'm like, now, what the fuck are you done? Now, I'm hoping that as a supportive brother that, uh, that you kept stum about the state of his face and let him go out into the night. Do you know what? It was impossible because it was so fucking <laughs> funny, right? Okay. It was the kind of funny where you actually started rounding up people to come and look at the idiot. Yes, you know what yes. I mean? Come on, come here! <laughs> <laughs> look at this fanny! Right, so okay. he had to go back in, but it was just the fact there was just a... You know, like, so if you take a felt tip, uh, a, a squ- these big fucking square ones, and draw a line on a white page, so it's like a rectangle. Yeah, exactly, So yes. there was a black rectangle in the middle of his eyebrow. Oh. It was fucking funny. What was the name of the, uh, remember the old black and white comedy actors in the States? Was it not the Groucho Brothers? or something? Uh, Groucho, Groucho Marx. Marx. Groucho very, Marx. Very the, similar. The very straight edge, kind of like almost cell tape style, style kind of eyebrows. Yeah, that's the ones. It so looked I'm... like fucking Robbie Rotten. <laughs> 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 Have you seen the, 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 the young lady in the Nisa. In the Nisa. She shaves off her eyebrows. So just to clarify, for those of those Sorry, people the, in there the who the don't know. the local corner shop. Okay, television. right, okay. So. <laughs> like a spa shop. It's, exactly. It's, it's, you, you could literally spit in it from your from your place of work. Are you pissing it like or, the three poles were the other day? <laughs> oh, right. To, oh. Give, to, give, to give another tenuous link, if you were charged M- Charles Michelangelo Wilson, uh, it would be like the 7-Eleven. Right, there you go, exactly. And, okay, and oh, Charles, an American I, connotation. I like that. I like that. Oh, we've, see, that's what. Crossing that's why. Bond. That's why Pink is valuable to the show because he connects our foreign fan base. He, if ever a man, if we have, for example, Mister Lord Monster, if we had a listener in Beijing, who, 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 you know, there's certain words that. Now, I'm going to say this much, Large. You, you have a very strong accent. Well, is there's it times when we've had email folks saying, "The fuck is he saying?" <laughs> there's certain words that you might come out with that people have not got a fucking scooby about. And do you know what I like is that we can actually email from the show, and people don't notice that we're emailing. Going, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> exactly. So, so that's why I mean, that's why when you two are together, it's a good kind of win-win situation because it's like BBC here's... Two at half past eight. He's a fucking exactly. He's. Imagine if you will. Here's 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 little Joey Wong <laughs> sitting in his wee tiny little fucking oh, sitting on the floor of his flat in Beijing because obviously there's no use chairs. Sitting on the floor with his shoes off under his table making a football. And, and exactly <laughs> stitching together a Nike shoe, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "The fuck does Lurch mean by Nisa?" Well, thankfully we have our interpreter here, Mister Pink. To keep him on the straight and narrow. And I'll tell you what, if anyone out there is wanting any translatory services, right. email the show. Perfect. 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 Because you need them. We, exactly. <laughs> I can translate <laughs> on a hen. So essentially what we'll do is we'll maybe have like a, maybe even a new segment, you know, ask Mr. Pink about, you know, 
people might hear things in the show. They're like, "What the fuck is that?" I think we should have a glossary on the website as well. A, oh, a glossary! Oh, a glossary. That's an idea. Ah, we can maybe see. have a glossary. You know how at the back of like, for example, Game of Thrones, the back of the book, they've got a glossary Do of they? certain words that they use or characters, and you, you can research what, it as to what they mean. We should just maybe make a DHB thesaurus. Oh right, <gasps> I like that idea. Is anybody else harking back to the days of the uh, the Profanosaurus? Well, that's what I was just thinking of. <laughs> See, that was what that was what instantly stuck to my head. Lurchosaurus. That's like a dinosaur. <gasps> that's like a dinosaur with a big head. <laughs> In fact, that sounds like the new name for a burger: the Lurchosaurus. The Lurchosaurus. Oh, oh, oh. oh God! Just, just like the just this? like the, I would imagine the recently patented roast in a post. Oh, roast in a post! I, I've trademarked that shit. Roast. This is like a brainstorming. Fucking this is like a. This is like a. Exactly, exactly. It's a brain pond here, and oh, we're just this. pumping ideas at you. We're mind mapping. It might exactly. Mind anyway, mapping. Denisa. So. Oh no! I want to. <laughs> I want to know what roast in a post is. No, no, I can't tell you. Okay, right. Trademark last yeah. week. In case it's stolen by fucking <laughs> butchers in Northfield again, yeah. like a cuts or Australian cuts in, but we'll get, oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right, so Nisa, of course, Nisa, corner shop. There's the lady in Nisa. She's a young queen, but she's got a scary eye. Like right. a wandering eye. Can I just pause you there? Yeah. Turn to our translator. Uh, Quiny. Quiny, Quiny is, <laughs> uh, for those out there, Quiny would be classed as a lady, a young lassie, girl. I eye the Quiny. Female. <laughs> Uh, for once again, Charles Michelangelo Wilson, bitch. Right, right okay. So anyway, you've got to see the Quiny. The Quiny with the wandering eye. The, oh, a wandering eye. Oh, which is scary eye. I haven't seen her. I think you have. She's got like nine stone of fucking uh, fake tan on her hands. Oh, it's mostly on her fingers. And the and the the patent kind of Ned face Black, left. Yeah, uh, and she's they... got a dip and dazzler. And she's got one eye going to the shop that they come back to change. <laughs> one eye telling the joke. Dip, that dip, dip and Dazzler, like. if you don't know, if you've got your head, your car uh, headlights on and you've got them on dip, so they're down. And right. then you'd have them on Dazzle and they're up. You've got okay. one on dip, one on up. That's the Dip and Dazzler Dip headlight. and Dazzler, perfect. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Much like the phrase when he's pissed. Ah, yeah. Right, okay. Ah. So, <laughs> like the fucking Doc in uh, the Cannonball Run. Yes. <laughs> Just to heart back, guys. Sorry to cut in there, but also to heart back to your idea of the huge mid-head dinosaur of the Lurchosaurus. Uh, Susie Biker, the chat room state, uh, how about, uh, you know, Lurch at Sore Arse? No, because that's what I've got Steve <laughs> under us on the phone. Steve at Sore Arse. Steve at Sore Arse. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. <laughs> so, you've gone in and saw her with the Dip and Dazzler, with the, with the, the fake tan in the hands and the. Every Sunday, right. she has to start early. Okay. Now, I, on a Sunday, I come in at like 7 o'clock. On a Sunday? Sit in the shop and like interfere with myself. That's magical. Yeah. Right. So, she used to start at 7. Okay. So, she'll come in without makeup on. Okay. No eyebrows. Beautiful. I see her on a Monday when I collect my carling cider. Okay. And... Ooh, uh, <laughs> and she's got one eyebrow right. painted on. Oh, oh. And she has a people's eyebrow. No. A people's eyebrow. Well, but, and she only works on Sundays. Uh, no, no, no. She works during the week. Oh, she? Sunday, what's, she a, what's, go- a, what's a people's eyebrow? Oh, you it's know. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wrestling, a wrestling reference. You know the wrestler The Rock? Yes. And he has one eyebrow kind of always kind of up. Ah, right. right. Okay. Or does when he's doing the look. Ah. The people's eyebrow, he calls it. So he's. I, th- I thought, people's eyebrow I thought when you were saying one was drawn on and one was. I thought it was like a kind of Harvey Dent situation. She would turn and go, oh, hello. Oh, you, oh, you bastard. Oh, you, you would think with that eye she's got. <laughs> <laughs> you look change. So she's got a cockadine. A cockadine. Again, <laughs> let me let me just turn to our translator. Uh, cockadine. Cockadine would be like, say, cockeyed or one eye looking at you, the other one looking for you. Thank you very much, yes. sir. So, uh, of course, <laughs> so you've got now. Of course, I mean that Nisa, or that corner shop, you know, that's near yourself, is a kind of uh, a hazard zone anyway. But yeah, I mean, you have to tiptoe through puddles of dog shit and piss, piles of um, urine piss, and you know, stray oh. dogs. I say straight. Uh, d- Packs of staffies and pit bulls running about. Did I tell you about the dog that uh, a guy was playing fetch with once? No. I kept hearing this thud, thud. What the fuck is was that? It, was he throwing the dog and he had a stick in his hand? No, he was throwing a tire. Oh, and the brilliant. dog was fetching the tire. Oh. The tire without an alloy, right? For a car, just a tire. And a proper it. car tire. A proper car and the, tire. The dog was able. To, well, the the, girl, maybe, the dog. Maybe that, maybe that explains why your fucking tire disappeared. <laughs> oh, bastards! There you go. Three of the bastards do as well. <laughs> the dog would grab it, flip it over its neck, and run back. And then the guy would fucking 
turf it across towards my shop. Right. Although he got a fucking look for the lurch. Did he? If it fucking hits my shop. My yeah. Rolexes are going to get damaged. <laughs> my insurance claim is going to be extortionate. <laughs> okay. My, my Rolexes. Um, <laughs> Rolexes, computer, and inflatable bed. They are all on the shutter. You can imagine the, the claim to the insurance company. So the tire bounced off your window, uh, cracked the glass, and shattered three Rolexes in the display. Yes, yes, it did. Yes, yes. <laughs> and my anal dildo Master 3000 petrol edition was damaged as well. Exactly. Petrol edition. Don't you know it's a diesel boy? <laughs> well, well, I mean, here's the thing as well, though. I mean, hard of course there to your uh, your deviancy is that uh, now of course pre-show see I think if, he, if we're talking about dinosaur names he would be called the Diploricus the, oh okay okay I can live with that one Diploricus uh, Diploricus so special kisses <laughs> <laughs> so well speaking of which now I do believe that you had a, 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 communi- a letter, if you will, a communication. Well, can I get to that? Right, you get to that. It's a fucking horrible weekend. Have you really? Oh, here's, where's my list? <laughs> <laughs> right. I had to take notes at one point. Did you really? Oh. <laughs> that bad a weekend? <laughs> well, Saturday morning, right? Let me take you back in time to Saturday morning. Okay. Everything was perfect then. Right. Until this guy came in. I thought he was maybe Polish, because he sort of looked at me and he would just say certain words. Right. Like certain keywords, How, and he said it weird. Yeah, so, like it was, it was like watching when you were a kid watching Galak TV <laughs> well, or like Dota Man. <laughs> you just get one word. You yeah. get a word here and there, like, but I'd imagine that was it's it. like people listening to me. Again, I'll turn to our translator, uh, Mr. Pink. Uh, <laughs> Dota Man. Dota Man. That'll be a really shit program that was made in Gaelic, where you would hear things like, oh, I can make an egg, egg, milk, and you can make an egg, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So. <laughs> So, Lurge, you've got the cast of Dota Man in your shop now. Pretty much. Okay. And he asked me, what is plate? And he, uh, and, and he sort of, it was like, uh, what is it? Um, I, forget, I forget the terminology. I'm not in English. and I'm half cut. Right. So, he asked, how much is plate? Right. And I normal person say, how much is at plate? Is at, he asked, how much is plate? I says, well, it's about nine pounds a kilo. Okay. Can I have two slices? <laughs> Oh. That was a noise he made. Right. What the fuck? So, mid-sentence, this noise came out. He made a weird noise and his face went red and then he sort of made a fist. Oh. And he, and he hit himself in the leg. Oh. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Oh. This is at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Brilliant. Uh, uh, and I thought, I'll just ignore it because he's maybe half cut or wired. Uh, yeah. He's maybe going to give him a rolled up £20 note to pay for his fucking plate. He's maybe just come back from a, a hard night partying and the wires haven't properly fused back together again. But exactly. Okay, right, right. So, Dirty raping Polish bastards! <laughs> okay, right! Shit, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, okay. So, <laughs> I've heard that for a while. Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry, what happened there was... Uh, it's Tourette's. Tourette's, <laughs> yes. Well, well, the guy had Tourette's. Now, bona fide Tourette's. To the, I, I felt as sorry in, for as him. As in, he's confirmed to you. Uh, well, let me get to that. Okay. He started. Ke- he kept making noises. Kept making noises. Sorry, I'm right. half cut. Cooper right. sucks, Bobby. <laughs> no. Massive heated cunt. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that was directed towards me. Okay. Now, hey. I felt. I felt. So, I know exactly. I'm, I'm befuddled as you. Okay. I so felt, hold on. There's someone in the shop other than me shouting "massive heated cunt." Exactly. This asshole coming in saying it's a nut. Heed. Heed. Fifty percent off, folks. <laughs> Fucking object. Honestly. Well, this guy, I felt sorry for him because he was making noises and he was quite embarrassed. He created a, a massive-headed fuck. Right. <laughs> he went on to special prices. Did he? Yeah, prick. So he, <laughs> Special prices? Special prices. Okay. <laughs> created me a massive-headed fuck? What does he think he is? Okay, how I'm dear. the king of butchery. <laughs> Object. Well, I mean, you say you're the king of butchery, but I do, I mean... Without, of course, stepping on toes or causing you any kind of libelous situation. Oh, we'll get to that. I, I, oh, 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 wait, <laughs> we'll okay. get to this. Oh, sorry, we'll okay. get to this. Because you have had some... Uh, some I've uh, had a shit of a bastard weekend, Taylor. Pretenders to the throne, if you will. Oh, they're just... They're fucking right in my There's someone else with a huge heat fucking cut, chopping up Oh, we'll get to this, exactly. So you've got... So, of course, now you've had Captain Tourette's in the show. Captain Tourette's. I was at eight o'clock. Right. Not a fucking ten minutes later, the door bangs open. Okay. And you would think it was like somebody was a chal- wait, a way to challenge me to a gunfight at the OK Corral. Oh. A fucking half cut woman. Oh, they're the worst. You sell pizzas, men. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Hold on, I will translate. Okay. This, right. this young lady who had had one or two aperitifs walked into the, the butchery establishment and said, Excuse me, young sir, 
Do you sell pizza? Right. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pink. So I Couldn't I put it better myself? Exactly. Do you sell pizzas, man? Uh, no, funnily enough, I don't. And she couldn't, uh, no, she couldn't compute that in her brain. Ah. Uh, straight over to me. Like, straight over. Power. I fucking ship Stormed the towards you. I thought she was away to knock me out. Right. Oh. So you don't sell pizzas, no? I, I'm not going to lie to you, Lurch. There's been times I've been in your shop and I've wanted to knock you out. Well, uh, that'll happen. You know. <laughs> to be fair, though, it's a fairly large target. At the side <laughs> exactly. I can swing from the road. And catch that fucking heed. <laughs> so anyway. Well, it, listen, boys. So she's, he's on the edge. He's on, on, the edge. on the edge. That fucking thing rules the tides. He's had a few ciders. Go no. on. We better be careful. I've had a few carlings, boys. Okay. So, she comes storming over at me. You sell pizzas? No. No, I don't sell pizzas. So she went over to my freezer. Okay. Which is a glass display freezer. Yes. <laughs> and then just sort of fell asleep on top of the freezer. Fuck off. She went, oh, I've got a photo. She, oh, you do not have I've got a photo. It will go on the chat page during the show, maybe. Was so she, you're going to post she lying, that? Was she lying on top of the mince and mealy pies? No. no. Okay. Against the glass. <laughs> no, she went to look in the glass freezer to see if I had pizzas. Because okay. I told her I had Papa P's pizza dough. Pizza dough, yes, yeah. of course. She looked in the freezer. Do you actually still have that in your freezer? I've got two left. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. She looked in the freezer and fell asleep. Oh. So I took a photo. NDD, sort of. Ushered out the shop, probably had a wee touchy feely. Right, okay. With the goat's teeth. <laughs> did, you, did you not take the opportunity when she was asleep to have a wee fucking deck to the fucking rusty sheriff's badge? I'd rather have mince and mealy pie. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course you have. <laughs> I'd rather have a shower. So she's been she's over the freezer having a snooze. Snoring! Oh, brilliant! To the what? point where she started. She, <laughs> her face was in the glass, right? It was, and it made that squeaky noise, the little streaky squeaky noise in her face. I think her saliva oh. was holding her on the glass. As she's sliding down the glass towards the floor. And NDD goes, I'll just drop this object off the glass, will I? Why? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Why didn't fucking NDD take this opportunity presented to him and get his hole? Well, I think he trifled through a handbag. That was just as good for him. Ah, uh, right, okay. <laughs> oh, but did he do the old, I better have a look and see where she lives? Oh, Fiverr. Oh, <laughs> <damn me. laughs> That's the one. Under exactly. the comb over her. Right? Uh, <laughs> 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 it's all do for me, boys. So, so, she fucked off. Now, the day, it, uh, isn't it a good start to Saturday? A guy with Tourette's crying, a massive heated fuck. It's not a good start. And a lassie falling asleep in your freezer. Before we call you on, Pink, can I ask you to have a quick check of that, uh, of our oh. power <laughs> our power situation here? We do have a bit of a drama going on in the background uh, regarding power to the show. Ah, right. Um, if you could just have a wee check. That's, it's because, folks, if you want to know what's happening, is because this entire flat is run off one flexi lead that goes into the cupboard for the next door neighbour's exactly. house. Exactly. So I have to just go and check. Make sure the, pl- the plug's not sugly. So Aye. I'd be appreciated if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> you've had the snoozer. I've had the snoozer freezer. and the Tourette's are. You're right. So. So Saturday so far has been a bit of a no-go. It kind of pissed me off. It sent me off on the wrong foot. Okay. So the day went well. I sat down mid-afternoon. thought, I'll check the Facebook messages. Right. Uh, there's something going on in his chat room. They want to know about my emails. Get fucked. What right. Okay. So I checked the Facebook messages. And then, if you noticed on the insights for your page? Yes. You can compare to other pages similar to yourself. Oh, can you? I had no you idea. You can indeed. It's a little sort of function they've added on. Oh. And there was... All the local butchers were there. All the fuckers that ripped me off. Yes. And then there was like this weird one. That it's never... getting very blatant now, but we'll get to that, of course. Oh, fucking bit. assholes. I can't help it. I'm the king of butchery. Exactly. So there's a, one crowd, like it's either the copper ring or the kipper ring gourmet butcher. Okay. So I thought, ooh, I'll have a clicky. I wondered why that was there. Right. And they're a butcher from Australia. Mm. I thought, ooh, magic. Lovely. Why can, is this showing up? You can compare your site with a, somewhere across the globe. I can compare their cuts of meat to mine. Exactly. What name do they call their cuts of meat to mine? Well, scrolling down, I noticed something that looked familiar. Okay. It was one of my fucking photos. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, oh, so they've used, uh, th- so they haven't just linked to your page. They've l- left it up from your page and used it as theirs. Even the text. Fuck off. Uh, oh, uh, not just one post. Right. Eight posts. It, so they are, they've been copying and pasting your stuff. And making on it's their own. You're shitting me. And not just stuff from the shop page. Uh-huh. A photo from my own page. No. A photo of me in a barque eating a barbecue. What? Exactamundo. Objects. I was fucking raging. 
<laughs> so obviously, I went straight onto the Royal Mail website. You tell this, I'm going to check the power situation. You you just carry on, sir. How, how many DHBs does it take to change a keep fucking power? Keep going, bar, keep going. So, I went onto their website and noticed that they'd ripped me the fuck off and nothing that I could do. So I went straight onto Royal Mail's website to find out the price of posting a poop to Australia. <gasps> quite expensive. Mm. So there was nothing I could do. Unbelievable. It fucking ruined my Saturday. I mean, the next thing you know, these motherfuckers down in Aussie land have probably not even watched in Bruges. Well, so. well. <laughs> That's, that qualifies as one of these. This has been Mr. Pink's Shit and Joke of the Week. So, I mean, have you been in communication with them yet at all about this? I have indeed. They got a fucking vicious email. Okay. Nothing replied yet. Although some Australian bastard! <laughs> right! <laughs> put a fucking, right! Put a one star on my shop page! Oh, for fuck's sake. A one star sake. review. I hope it's a guy that owns this butchery. It probably is. That's stolen from he you. He can't be a butcher. He's got a pierced tongue. Hold on, oh. hold on. Wait, wait. So we can actually review your shop? Oh, yeah. Leave but like a kind of trip advisor type situation. Can we? Is it much in the same vein as, for example, our iTunes reviews, where you can leave a, a five star or less review? Yep. And also a bit of text. Hey, you can leave text, you can leave photos, you can leave anything. So and can you then delete the ones you don't like, or can you? Or are they left as they are? It's fucked up. You can delete the five stars, but you can't delete the one stars. Oh, can you oh, not? Okay. So yeah. say, for instance, if you were in your shop, and you've bought a multitude of things. And you got a free steak. A plethora of things, if you will. A plethora of meat. Right. You get home, and you open the bag, and find it's not quite what you expected. Can you go in there and leave a review? Is that what you're trying you, to say? You can, indeed. <laughs> Marvelous. Saying, I bought a twenty pound pack and ended up with a birthday steak. A steak bigger than your own head. That, that that's a very valid point. Yes, right. it's a very valid point. <laughs> okay. See, that's the thing, folks. Get down to Hayton Road and you too could get some freebies. So but from what I can gather as wealth alerts, not only is a butchery across the world stealing from you. <laughs> but I mean well, he, see here's my thing, you see. Now it's always a case of where when you do a thing well, you find people try to imitate you. Or take from you and pass off as their own. <laughs> you see, now we've had this issue with ourselves with other shows uh, like, that I'm not going to mention, but we know. <laughs> we, you and I, I mean, and we, it know, like, we know. We've seen things, and Fuck. Pink, we'll discuss this off air, right? I should, have, I should have fucking brought the sin bin down on, on the plane. <laughs> no, exactly. Do you know, I had enough room in my baggage. Admittedly, it would have been a tricky, a tall order to explain while it's going through the metal detector. Oh, fuck, there's a fucking bin in here. Or or we should, we should buy a bin here in Aberdeen. Do you know what I saw? I saw a plethora of sin bins when I was in a shop called MK fucking something, right? Right. right. And there was a whole load... MK minimum. MK minimum. And the thing is, uh, I was in there and there was a whole load of sin bins that got a little bit teary-eyed. Oh. I have a plethora of money. Will I buy one? You buy a sin bin. Why buy a plethora of sin bins with my plethora a of money? Four yeah. of them, yes. Why, well, or alternatively, why don't we just put a bin on the Amazon wish list? Okay, that's what we'll do. I'll find the most garish looking bin and stick it on the Amazon put, wish list. Put the bin above the shitty jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, fuck you now. So, so, where was I going? Because so, I'm not finished yet. Right, okay, so. so we're, I'll get we're, ripped we're, off by we're, Australia's. And of course, you're getting, now again, we're speaking about rip-offs. Now, I mean, and, and I'll tell you what, been... what, what fucking audacity is. Well, listen, we shipped you cunts down there 200 years ago and you've got the audacity, the audacity oh, 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 oh. I to maybe... fucking rip off our butchers. <laughs> okay. Because so... they're a butcher site like mine, you yes. can leave a review. I may have typed up a text saying, dirty thieving criminal fucking island bastards. Right. And then I, s I crossed that out. Oh, uh, that's okay. So listen, folks, if you want to do that to this butchers uh, this weekend, you can go and leave that you review. Feel Copper free. ring gourmet butchers. Copper ring gourmet butchers. Butchers. Gourmet, yeah. no, gourmet, gourmet, my whole. I, gourmet, my arse. If they're taking my photos, my shit's not gourmet. My shit's the fucking boss. I, my I, shit's ace. I'm not encouraging folk. I mean, this would be almost criminal for me to say to folk. I, 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 I in fact, I'm discouraging wholeheartedly anyone who then goes away and spams the fuck out of their page with shite. Fucking Imagine. bastards. Do they maybe, perchance, have a telephone number? Oh, I probably. No probably. I was, I was close to phoning it, but uh, can we phone it? Well, well, if we can find the number, we'll Hold on. It. Would they, they technically, would they, no, they'd be asleep just now. Oh, would they? Let's oh, let's try it. No, it'd be eight o'clock in the morning. What's their, there? what's their name again, sorry? The Kura Hua Hua? Either Cup or Ring or... Is it K-A? I have any idea. I don't know, I'll find it. You find it. I'm, find I'm it looking right now. Cup or Ring. I took a screenshot because I was so fucking 
I'm right, so dear, I'm, I'm so dear, Taylor. Get the screenshot so we can see the name. I'm going to go on Facebook and try to find it or Google those bastards and get a number. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, is it Kappa Ring? Look at that poop butcher. I had yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, what the fuck? It was when I went blah, 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 blah. Hold on. <laughs> Do you shit on leaves? Well, no. If I feel like it's a good one in the patch of lounge, I'll put down a canvas. What? <laughs> what you like? What? Like a Maynard shit glove? Hold, hold on. So you, Look at that. you, you. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake! It looks like fucking Sunita wearing that leaf. I know exactly. <laughs> look at look at my new my new mask. Sunita wearing the leaf. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. So can we? That's well, a negotiator. How about you stop looking at That's your phone? How about getting the fucking well, butcher phone fucking number fucking up? You fucking massive heated <laughs> hoor. We can look at photographs afterwards. You exactly. know that works well on a podcast. You content, content, chew. cunt face. Maynard exactly. normally laughs. Maynard laughs. Maynard can get fucked. Too, <laughs> <does he? laughs> so come yeah. on now. We're needing this KP or KP crisp uh, butcher uh, cap a ring. Oh, you're the worst in the world. So anyway, oh, I'm sorry. I'm while, sorry. While you investigate that, AussieCriminalButchers.com. Here's it. Here's it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Kippa. K I P P A oh, for f- dash ring, Kepa dash ring, uh, gourmet, gourmet, Gour- gourmet butchers, butchers. Use that term fuckingly. Kepa ring gourmet butchers. I've got Kippa. um Kepa ring gourmet. I've got Kepa, Kepa, Kepa ring gourmet meats. No, it should be butchers in Brisbane. Right now, because you see, right, if I put like a photo on my Facebook page, I'll normally put something witty. Oh, Do you know okay. what? Let's ask let, listeners, people who are in the chat room right now, go and find this Kippa ring, K-I-P-P-A dash ring. And post the butchers, fucking phone number up. And then, and then either phone me with the number or post it in the <laughs> chat room, and then we will then contact them. Horrible bastards. Horrible bastards. So, so anyway, sorry. Fucked up my Saturday. Let's move on. So you, of course, will have a shit Saturday, Well, oh, 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 my Saturday. Normally, every butcher in Aberdeen rips me off. Right. But they then do. I kind of just sort of, oh, well, fuck it. But the thing is, though, and again, I've noticed, I've noticed this from the outside looking in, that I've seen butchers, because, of course, you kind of broke the mold a little bit with butchers in the... I smashed Aberdeen that area. fucking mold up. Exactly. So it's I mean, sausage breath. Yeah. Butchers, butchers uh, <laughs> historically... as well. Butchers historically are very kind of... Uh, are, is, traditional. Traditional and reserved and bow ties and, you know... Straight very apron, straight-laced. bit fat, yep. rosy-cheeked. Exactly, you know. Pound of men's love. Whereas you come in and just smash that mold entirely. You come in with swear words and, and jokes and... And my and naked bow tie selling. Naked, exactly. <laughs> I you, sold all my steaks this Friday. <laughs> and videos with really poor overdubbing. <laughs> oh, I don't tell me. How very dear you, sir! <laughs> so, uh, you've done this, of course. And now, because because this has been now so popular, people have said, well, it's great having a butcher who doesn't take himself too seriously. People have been flocking to your store. Yep. You've now found other butchers in the area, or in the city, certainly, who have thought... Or in Northfield. It's, or in Northfield. Yeah. I've got uh, an idea for a fucking lovely dish. Right. right. What you do is, now this would look fucking awesome in the display. No, don't worry about the what we're saying there. You carry on, sorry. Right. You, fire, hey, you fire listen, right ahead. Listen. Don't you worry about what we were saying or what point we were going to make there. But you, please, just you you take that ball and you run with it, sir. Care's not a job. Okay, right. right. Take some meatballs. Take okay. some dry pasta. Pierce the meatballs onto the pasta so that it looks like a nice string of meatballs on pasta for cooking at home, but it would also look like Lurch's anal beads. Ooh. Ooh. Well, see, I had a better idea, and I actually made these. You know the big mass of hot dogs you get? Yes. yes. I actually make my own, so it's near like the arse lips and eyeballs. So it's actually real meat. Ah. Make them, cure them, cut them into lengths, pierce it with spaghetti, and yes. boil them up. Yes, I've Ooh, seen fuck it. Fucking it's oh, it's lovely. It looks like <laughs> anal beads as well. Oh, lovely. Okay. It gets you excited after the after you've eaten. You're quite excited. Oh, right, okay, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> fuck. Anyway, derailment finished. Thank C- you. Continue. <laughs> so you're just a, a fucking. So anyway, uh, from the outside, I've seen butchers now starting to copy your style, starting to try and post in your kind of uh, style on Facebook. They're trying to add more humor to their produce, to their feeling uh, miserably, feeling as well. miserably. And in doing so, are now plagiarizing more to try and be to try and emulate what you've done. It makes me sadder than a dwarf with a yo-yo. Does it sadder really? than a fucking naked hedgehog? Oh, even. oh no! Do you know how sad I am. Totally. Oh, it's oh, it's horrendous. Sadder than a fish with tits. Sadder than a fat kid at a salad bar. Exactly. A dwarf with a yo-yo. Yeah. Mac, there's a present not to buy for the missus. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> So, I mean, have you made any steps at all to kind of uh, fight back against well, these there's interlopers? A, there's a ter- well, my favourite film's The Godfather. 
So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to take over a territory. Ah. Uh, Northfield. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Now, there of course, uh, bo- sorry, I'll cut in there with our translator stroke guide. Uh, Mr. Pink, could you let the listeners know what Northfield is? Well, I would say that Northfield would be another area of Aberdeen, not unlike Tilly Drone, except you're slightly cleaner and got less drug-riddled scum. Uh, really? Really? Is it not? <laughs> no, I was having this a, speaks the truth. This I, 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 speaks the truth. Listen, I was like the lurch on a Friday night. I was having a stab in the dark there. Okay, right. So, so lurch, you are going to mount a campaign. I may have already started this campaign. Right, okay. I may have been to the houses next to the butcher shop in Northfield. Oh, right. I may have dropped off four £20 packs for free. <laughs> like Santa Claus. And he just knocked on our door and said, have some free meat. Basically. Really? I made four people's fucking days. Well, three. One of them looked at me like I just shit in their hands and clapped them together. You've got to wonder, though, if someone comes to your door with free meat, you've sure. got to think, where's that come from? Three of them Am are I okay. getting handed some dog and some cat here and maybe a few rats? It was fucked up. There's like no carpets in their lobby. Okay, all three of the houses, no carpets in the lobby. Okay. The house stunk of oven chips. All three of them. <laughs> and one kid answered the door with like a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey and she was doodling on it. Eh? Uh, you, oh, you, do, oh. you do realise that they'll take this meat and go, oh, well, the dog will eat pretty the dog will eat well, well for right. a couple exactly, of days. Exactly, eh? Uh, because... Mayor chips. <laughs> exactly. They've got no idea how to make, how to cook meat. All they know is to burn chips, as you said, or go to the chip nearby, or go to the go get a king rib supper. Meat? <laughs> you know? What the fuck will we do with meat? You know what I mean? Exactly. Meat, it's not come pre-packed from fucking Lidl's covered in breadcrumb with fucking E numbers going through the roof. Exactly. It's not it's not packed in fucking cases and twenty mini fucking sausage rolls and farm foods. You know? Exactly. They didn't buy it after an advert from that fucking fat cunt Kerry Katona going, Oh, look at this produce from fucking shite foods. Right, so <laughs> So essentially, you've kind of carpet bombed that area with flyers and with meat deliveries. If phase you will. one, I like to call it. Phase one. Phase one. Such Have you had destroy. any feedback since phase one? I've had four customers. Have you really? Okay. The same four. I dropped them back. To aye, oh, but, yeah. but <laughs> did they turn up and go, aye, give some free meat or we'll fucking shiv you? Who's, no, it was always men's. I like your iron boo sausages, kids. Oh, nice. So is, excuse me, I like those iron I w- sausages. I, w- I, would li- I was just going to say, I would like to translate <laughs> that they came in and went, excuse me there, fine butcher. I really enjoyed those sausages infused with iron brew, which is, for those other people out there, the national drink of Scotland. Perfect. Thank God we have him here. So, we, <laughs> so <laughs> have you heard? Now, of course, with this carpet bombing of the competitors... Have you heard anything back yet? The fake butcher, well, said butcher in the Northfield. F- the fake butcher. The fa- he's the fake butcher. Oh, right. He set up a fake Facebook profile. Oh. And he's a dick. And he fucking, he's a dick. Tell him he's a dick. Lovely. <laughs> he what would his Facebook page be? Oh, no, I tell you that because he's like, fucking sue me. He's a little prick with his fucking Vaseline on his teeth. How would he sue you? Because it would be oh, Facebook. Well. Facebook is an open forum where many of our listeners are free to, say, annoy people. It's not Dennis Patterson's family butcher. Okay, it's not Dennis, that. It's not Dennis Patterson's butcher either. Prick. The, the, the viewpoints and names said there by Lush Monster obviously have nothing to do with us here. Not would, that, would, that the the, would that be the Dennis Patterson that shoves fruit up his arse? Uh, that would be the very one that puts Vaseline on his teeth. Aye. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> right. Fuck the- <laughs> Holy shit, you're going on the offensive today. I fucking hate him. Fuck that cunt, Dennis Patterson. Thank you. Let's let's mount a campaign of hate. Has he got a, has he got a Facebook page? Dennis Patterson Butcher. No, he doesn't. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's not but, that. Okay, hypothetically, say if you were to look for Dennis Patterson's Butcher and you found him in Northfield and you were a listener of the show. If you were to scroll through there, you would probably see most of the shit that I make. Okay. Badly made. <laughs> right. And it would look like it's been decorated like an ice cream van. Oh, man. beautiful. I mean, we're not suggesting that if anyone listening to the show lives in Northfield and they're out having a bit of a boozy night and they're staggering home past the butcher shop that they find a freshly laid dog shit and wipe it on his fucking handle. Oh, oh hell. Oh. I know. Do not pack the handles for his shutter with feces. No. <laughs> well, get under his nails and be unhygienic. That exactly. would be awful. Who would want to buy sausages from a man who's been handling shit? I well, ask you. it's not his sausages that are frozen. He buys them from Bukas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. Okay, Trying so. I had my mother on Facebook. I'm going to fucking cut his heart. Dude, Moving dude. on swiftly. <laughs> so, anyway. So, Saturday. Uh, just, so, I mean, I, I don't mean to cut in you, of course, but I am making a quick phone call. <laughs> Uh, to uh, a butcher's called Kippa Ring. That, that, that ring sounds upside down. 
a little bit, yes. Yeah. Tommy well, the, kangaroo. Thank you to uh, Miracle, I think it is, in the chat room. got us the number for this. They might, they might have their mints around. That's can, why we can, didn't answer can, our phone. Can you guess what it is yet? A dingo stole my baby. Oh, there's no answer. We will try again, though. Um, no answer machine as well. God, oh, you should see it. It's a photo of me sitting in my garden with a bar, a plate of barbecue food, and they stole it from me. He's used a photograph of you of me on their page. Oh, fucking. Oh, I mean, theoretically, that would be detrimental to your average business. Well, I kind of scrolled through it and thought, oh, he's clearly got that off of Facebook, and then when I noticed the, ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> When I noticed the text, he just lifted it straight from my page. Fuck it. Cock hell. of a boy. I, I assume they've lifted the text but changed a few important they've bits here and there. From, I mean, do you know what? I would condemn the entire of Australia for this outrage. Watch me wall the beef No, I would. Now, Scott. They have a dangerous you, breed, you, you, can, <laughs> you can vouch for me with this. I would condemn the entire of Australia and I'm sure you would as well. Jesus Holy Christ fuck, these wankers. Right? But. The mere fact is that you and me, if you certainly if you were single, we'd smash the arse at a row, row, row your boat that listens to the show. <laughs> so we can't condemn the whole of Australia. Right, okay. Would row, row, row your boat get? Oh, row, row, lefty, row your boat. Me. Row your boat. Uh, bought one of could our, I our new hoodies. I, I tell you, I'd row, row, row her arse. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Jesus Christ. So, of course, <laughs> she, she, I mean, she's, but she, 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 I think she's now got the title of our most furthest flung listener to buy merchandise from our new online store, dhbshop.com. Folks, go and check it out what now. What was the link? dhbshop.com. I would swim to Australia just to hear her fucking fanny fart down a phone. Right, okay. So, she, I think she's now got the title of the most far fetched listener. Thank you for the purchase of the hoodie. Would. Would you suck the farts out of her ass? Liz, would you? Would you not? <laughs> would you not say this about so our, our say, loyal listeners? You're trying base. to say that you wouldn't suck the farts. I out of her wouldn't. Ass. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> we just said we are fucking listeners. I am a happily attached man. Thank you very much. How very dear you, if sir. If you were not happily attached, you'd just suck the no, farts out of her ass. No, he would not. He would. So she's he a would, bit on Monday. I've no, got no, no, a version of farts. He wouldn't do it. He would just send me to do it, and then I'd tell him all about it, being the good mate that I am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what my fucking friends are for. So, of course, folks, if you want to, t- if you want to look as awesome as Australians and hoodies, go to dhbshop.com, where we have tons of new things. Guys. Where Ro 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 your boat buys her merchandise. Do you know what? Do you know what I like? It's the fact that the shop is barely up and people have got produce already. The thing is, though, is that the shop, of course, now is a good friend of ours down south who's made the shop for us. Now, um, I'm waiting for them to come through with their company website, which I can then pimp for them on the show, but these guys have knocked this out the fucking park. The the shop is brilliant. Folks, go have a look at it. Even have a look at it for a nosy. Now, of course, in the past, with the previous stuff we sold uh, uh, through the store, merchandise-wise, there could be there was a long delay in certain things was because not, which may or may not have been my fault. No, 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 no. no. It was uh, a mixture of you, a mixture of me, and a mixture of our most unreliable printer in the world. By soul, do you mean held ransom? Uh, pretty much, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, I. So, but I mean, I mean, already we've had reports of folk buying things from the new store and getting it like a day or two days later, which is, is that fantastic. Do, do, you, do you think that we're maybe spoiling them a bit much, though? Not in the slightest, because there's tons. Of, there's T-shirts. There's mugs. There's we sold a few key rings and mugs. We've sold some, and this is before the thing's been officially announced properly. Of course, this isn't the official announcement now. As DP do, do you know what com. we need? We need a, a competition where people can actually dis- get. A Photographs. We asked for this before. Photographs of them wearing our apparel in various situations on holiday or whatever. Say maybe, for instance, going to court to get banned. Well, I was going to get to this because which cracked up my fucking life. But of course, the uh, the merchandise uh, right now is. I mean, some of the stuff. Obviously, he's given me samples to check out here as well, and this stuff is. I'm not just saying this, but it is fucking awesome, you know. The the quality of the shirts is brilliant. Hey, Pink, of I'm wearing a Papa well. Pink's running top. It's, I mean, it looks fantastic, you know. It's great quality job print as well. The mugs are fantastic. The key rings are brilliant. You know, there's more and more going to be added in the next few weeks as well. But right now, folks, go check out dhbshop.com. I can't stress enough how much you help the show by using our Amazon link, of course, but also through buying things from dhbshop.com and hey give us some ideas of things you now that we're doing uh, uh, phone covers and mugs and all that if you want to see some pr- uh, merchandise a willy know. warmer a dhb willy warmer <gasps> dhb love beads oh, d no. h and b <gasps> i would totally put um, i mean um 
Is that, is that because you've got your own ones that say Tilly Butcher? Yeah. <laughs> They're like Atlas Balls. Exactly. <laughs> already we've had uh, photographs posted in our Facebook uh, chat group from people who've got their already got their phone cases, who've got their t-shirts, their hoodies, you know. Crunch, the Crunch Time show debuted a picture of their hoodie. It's, it's fantastic, you know. Brilliant. I'm fucking <laughs> loving it, you know. So thank you, folks, for those of you who've uh, already bought from dhbshop.com. And for those of you who haven't, go have a look. It's, it's uh, you know, g- some good stuff there. So row, row, row your boat. Right. Just don't forget it. I don't, I, no. I, <laughs> you, you wouldn't get it. I wouldn't, no. No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Because I'm attached. I'm a happily attached man, thank you very much. Would you get Listen, it? Listen, Lurch. Pink, yeah. l- l- Lurch. Look at that gun. That's it. That's entirely uh, uh, her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's been repping the heat clean off it. Wahoo! <laughs> it's fucking coated in, coated in marmite. No vegemite. And the, and the, reason, the reason why that gun's so big is that's holding the base. This one, which isn't, is trying to fucking strangle an egg off the bastard. <laughs> and my feet are cupping the balls. Oh, okay. Okay. You should have seen my last night, boys. It was an hour myself. Oh, <laughs> oh back to Saturday. Puddings and ahan. Well, before we do the oh, one my- last thing I think we're going to be adding very shortly is uh, Lurch Monster Tilly Butcher aprons. Ooh. Butcher aprons to the <laughs> store. <laughs> it was for a bit of fun, but you know, that'll be up there shortly, so keep well, up. Well, will it pr- do you know what would be funny? What would What's be that? funny is a life li- a life size picture of him just naked on an apron so people could wear it. I kind of suggested that. We have. We have a, <laughs> what a fucking surprise. We have an idea. <laughs> We're gonna, oh, hold on, we've got a phone call. That <gasps> but surely is uh, look. Hello? Scott. Hello, who's this? This is the black man, Charles Wilson. <laughs> it's the black man, Charles Wilson! Yay! How you do, Charles Wilson? <laughs> hot, hot damn! <laughs> Ding! Damn! How are you, sir? How's things? I'm doing good, sir. How are all of you? Forgot to add some color to the show since Maynard isn't here. Hey! <laughs> the shit just got real. Exactly. Charles, how are you doing, sir? What's new with your good self? Well, it's going good, Scott. On spring break, and it's freaking... St. Paddy's Day over here, so you know, being Irish for the day. Leprechauns ah. everywhere. It's now. I would like to think that you've actually dyed your hair white. Why would Absolutely you dye your hair? Oh, because so you look, look like, like a, a pint, pint of Guinness. Guinness. Okay, right. <laughs> 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 okay. Fucking it's hell! Holy shit, Mister Pink. These views do not reflect Tilly Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> So, Charles, what brings hey, l- you listen, to call in this fine day? I, listen, I'm only being brave because Charles knows I'd whoop his ass. You're only being right. brave because Charles is across the pond. <laughs> well, that's and, very true. And I, and I regularly whoop Charles's ass at Call of Duty, so that's uh, pretty fucking where? ironic. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charles, what brings you to call in tonight? Is Charles' ass is worth whipping? Uh, he is the reason crazy. why I'm calling in is because, for starters, as always, Pink is a cunt. Hey, hey, hey. And also, Pink, you cannot whoop my ass. Oh, listen Let's here. be honest right now. Those things you call guns, pebbles. Listen, pebbles, sir. Listen, listen, mate, listen, mate. Just because you have a bit of paper that says you maybe have like, read a martial arts book, that does not give you the authority to think you can fucking bring it I, Listen, I, I, bet, I bet he's got one of those asses. You know, it's like, like, a, like a wee peach. You know those, like, a black ass, but when you crack it open, there's a wee bit of pink in the middle, oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when you crack it open, is, crack it, is, is this some kind of, when it, you like, is this separate, a hobby you've got? When you separate <laughs> those moist cheeks, there's a strip of pink. Just waiting, to, <laughs> just waiting for you to have a suit on, you know? These, these views do not affect the <laughs> picture. <laughs> Charles, fuck? can you confirm to or deny <laughs> that you've got a toit, a toit like a tiger black ass with a lovely wee strip of pink what, in the middle? What, what you're trying to say is, what you're trying to say is, is that Charles's arse is like, it's like, it's like a kind of a medium, a well done steak. Right. So it's kind of like brown, brown on the outside but pink in the middle. So when you crack that bad boy open, <laughs> it's just a nice, it's just a nice medium rear oh. in the middle there. Oh. For you to just chow what? on. Do you know what? That, that's, a, that's a picture I had never really wanted to fucking think about. <laughs> okay, okay. What the fuck? I'm just putting what that in your brain. Oh, you thank you for that. It's fine. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit, I'm dying. Okay, <laughs> 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 It's just so tragic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, Charles. <laughs> I <laughs> heard David <laughs> Attenborough <laughs> saying that. <laughs> but he did. that tight, tight ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you do lunges, perhaps, or are you a squatter? Uh, I imagine uh, when you squat, you get that little bead of sweat. 
<laughs> you know, like a you know, you're like a cold beer out the fridge, just running down between the apex of the of the of the, the crack. Oh. You know, just, oh. and you can just rub your face and go <laughs> in the middle of it. <laughs> oh. <Uh-oh. laughs> I think we've broken Charles. I think we've broken Pink as well. <laughs> Everyone's getting broken here. Charles! <laughs> So, apart from phoning then, tell us about that sweet, sweet black ass and, and call Pink a cunt. Uh, what else have you called in? Is that, is that it? Is that all you need to call in for? Or anything else that we've missed out? Uh, no, just... <laughs> <laughs> have you got anything for my translatory services, Charles? Are, exactly. you, need, are you needing my expertise? Charles, is there any words you've heard so far in tonight's show that you're like, what the fuck are they saying? And you need him to translate into the Americans for you. To be honest, I've been listening to you guys for too long. I think I'll be okay. Okay, you and your little sweet badonka donk. <laughs> well, you see, because obviously, obviously, technically speaking, you you are in a sense well, okay. Apart from the fact that you're black, you're technically descended from us, seen as we actually invented America. <laughs> All right, don't okay. mm, Pretty much, America, the most hypocritical nation in the world, founded by immigrants for immigrants. Yes, <laughs> right. So, Ugh. Charles, we're going to move on, but thank you for the call, and you make sure make sure that little sweet little ass calls back in again soon. Toodaloo, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Charles! Bye, Charles! Yeah. Keep up the training. <laughs> oh, I like, so, I like back Charles. to Saturday. So, Saturday. So, you've had a hell of a weekend. Oh, uh, it's not even the start. We it. haven't even pierced the brown skin oh, yet, no, this no. bad boy, okay? <laughs> we haven't you, cracked the skin you know, yet. Like, on the subject of Charles, right, on right. Facebook this week, he had posted up a, a, a wee, like, a certificate that he'd got for, do, for no, okay. no, He'd obviously done a, a, dabbled in a bit of the old uh, feng shui back in the day. Right? Oh, really? Okay. Now, he was like, oh, I need to get myself a new martial art. I get on there and go, I'd slap you like my bitch. Right, oh, right, okay. Which, which, you know, I'd slap you like my bitch, like my bitch, right? You know, and uh, but, but I get the feeling he wasn't overly put off. Oh, oh, oh I just okay. uh, well, I'm not saying that in a sexual way, but I get, I get the feeling, you know, that the man Char- has a bit Charles, of swagger. Charles is ass. Would you lick the poop peanuts out of his? I, ass? I would take. You know, if you get like, you know, when you face the ass, <laughs> and you get just a thumb on each cheek, and you just. Pull apart a little bit. starfish, a little starfish, winking at you, winking at you. Hey, big boy, how you doing? And it would be, it'd be like the wee, the wee cat, the wee cat eye. You and you just go in there and go with your nose and go <laughs> little, <laughs> little, little Eskimo kisses <laughs> like, right in the starfish. Your <laughs> beard jiggles and weird as fuck. I'm sure the camera that as well. The <laughs> sure wiggly beard. And of course, good thing is, of course, when your nose is in there tickling the Eskimo kiss in the bum, the beard is tickling the Vangit. Tickles that no tickles the scrot. Okay. I mean, I mean the Vangit. I mean the foot. Hey, the Vangit. Hey. So, so, so moving on, of course. Oh, uh, oh did you see the football? Uh, so many things. Um, so of course, Saturday has been uh. hell for you. Hell for you. The fucking hell, and that's not even the start. Right. So we get home. Sausage breath picked me up. As is my want. As is our want. Yes, because well, that's what our fucking job is. Well, I was going to say because I mean, how often have you left here either half cunted or or late as fuck? And or that totally poor girl, cunted. Or totally <laughs> cunted. And that poor girl's going to come here and get you. I, I can. Take, I take it she can park her little uh, like little green electric car outside without fear of getting like a parking ticket. Yeah. No, no. Well, I'm the king of Tilly Jones, so. That's right. Yeah. Ah. Nobody fucks with the king of Tilly Jones. What? Here tonight singing in the ghetto with a half with a half drunk bottle of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> it's camouflage. He blends right in. Can't knock off this. Oh, week. I just looked it. So uh, we're now on onto Saturday, Saturday night evening. Evening, sorry, evening. Okay, evening. I take all the messages right. shopping <laughs> from the car. Right. Okay, see there. And we get to the front door. Now the front door of the flat is like one of these weird belts. It's not like. The key fobs. Uh-huh. When you hold the fob up against the flat and the magnets unlock. Yes. No, no, it's not like that where I live. You put a key in the door and you have to hold the key round and then pull the door. Ah, so you right. You keep holding this key round. Now, the door's fucked. Ah. Uh-huh. Because of all the damp. Right. <laughs> Maybe caused by me and Sausage Breath. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> Heavy breathing. <laughs> Heavy breathing without opening the window. All the damp running P- down the walls. Please, that be the reason. Please. <laughs> Aye. What, because she's trapped in a fucking plastic bag and all the fucking, uh, you know, all the sweat Whoa. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't get me excited, Pink. Holy shit! So he's got to fucking run a dehumidifier just to get it back to normal. <laughs> so anyway, so the door it jams. Now I've got my hands full of messages shopping. Right, hands full shopping. of shopping. She's in charge of opening the door. Okay, she's gonna get the door. It's a typical woman. What does she do? 
She looks at you. Oh, okay. Like right. a po- <laughs> what, you, what about you? Gives you the stink guy. And then you say, like, well, just fucking pull it. Right. You're getting, you're getting antsy. Because you're about to go in and relax and take all your The bags are digging into your hands. They're cutting in. My fingers are purple. And you do that thing where you put some bags up your arm a little bit as well. So and they're cutting in. I look like a fucking self-harm. Exactly. So Like I, he who must not be named. <laughs> yeah. So And, and also... I thought, thought Big Mama but, but, McDonald. But being a bloke, but being a bloke, when you've got your, your <laughs> messages nay shopping, right, and you've got 12 bags... Yes. Why do two trips when one trip is enough? Exactly. 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 Fucking save energy. Exactly. And it's a mini workout. You get yes. all that shit on your back. You're, you're like a fucking war horse with that gear on you. All those oh, 12 yeah. volt car batteries. I'll oh, tell you. okay. <laughs> so, 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 you say it there. Just give it a good fucking tug. She pulled the door off the fucking hinges. Oh, what? I've got my hands full of shopping. I've to brace the door okay. with my head. Brilliant. Have you just been unaware of the mutant strength that she's been building up when she's been trapped in her cage? <laughs> <laughs> I know all about this strength. <laughs> He's throwing a bit like a fucking empty tracksuit to most mates. <laughs> exactly. Uh, she's fucking pulling the puddings out of oh. his arse on a regular Wake occasion. Wake up, I'm on some. Oh, no. Just fucking off the walls. He's tied to see them. I'm wanting to take your I want to take your puddings at your arse again. Oh. Now, uh, our translator, of course, uh, Mr. Pink. Uh, puddings. Puddings. Puddings would be the uh, alternate phrase for, say, the innards or uh, the uh, say the the in- integral parts of say yourself. So when someone says, "I'm putting the puddings," I'll suck your puddings right at your tight little black ass. I'm gonna fuck oh, Charles. Up. Charles. <laughs> I'm empty my buttons all over your face. Okay, right. So, so you're, you're bracing the door with your head. I'm bracing the door Now, what does a woman do when she fucks up? Uh, she blames Shouts you. Shouts at you. No, she fucking laughs. Right. She looks at you. The norm, right, when, they, when they make a mistake, the first thing they do is go, ah! They make a scream. Okay. And then when you're in pain... Yes. He fucking lied. Oh, as soon as you're caught, co- as soon as as soon as you have been caused any injury, she was. In- oh yeah, the cunts. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, you've torn your banjo string. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A uh, translator, of course, a uh, banjo <laughs> string. <laughs> the banjo string is a small piece of skin that goes from the Jap's eye down to the scrotum. Right, okay. Oh, so, you do that, boys? Oh, no. Which, if you ever snap, don't be too hasty to get back in the saddle, because it may re-snap. Okay, so she's now laughing at you. But, uh, to the point where she had to cross her legs. Oh, no. And- Piss her fucking self off. <laughs> the funniest fucking thing she's ever seen in her life. That'll be the me. first time she's crossed her legs in quite some time. Oh, that never uncrossed yeah. it, yeah. it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're squashing my chuck my supper. Uh, so, uh, all right. Don't cross your legs, you're squeezing my fucking fish up. So, <laughs> okay. so, she's pissing herself off and uh-huh. I've got two hands full of messages right. and a door on one's head. Okay, right. That's the funniest fucking thing she's seen <laughs> ever. In history. So already your I mean already your pest has been fizzed by oh, well, you know I stepped backwards so the door slid from one's bonds, uh-huh. smashed in the flare, and I just fucking walked up the stairs. Beautiful. Where the fuck? <laughs> the kids with all their fucking little scoot A's and all outside. Right. Little fucking mutants. Oh fucking hell. Cunts. Okay. So So I had made a curry the night before. Right. She was off on Saturday. Uh-huh. Her job was to fry some chicken, put it into the curry. Uh-huh. She added the triple X spice that I may have given you. Oh, right. Into the curry. Brilliant. Not told me. Holy shit. That, well, sorry, for those Holy of you... Shit. For, for those of <laughs> you... Are you the key master? Holy shit. Are you the gatekeeper or the key master? <laughs> Jesus. I, I went off all hell, all, all hell Zool. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Now, I mean, you, you were a good three feet with the mic on there as well, <laughs> facing in the opposite direction, and I, I, feel, I thought it was an earthquake. I thought there was things shaking. I tried to call him here. Stinky Pete. I, I, went, I went off mic thinking, oh, this might be a little Whoa. bit of a large burp. <laughs> Jesus. If you want some more beer, then the fridge of the house help yourself. Oh okay. It's power in the electricity. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, anyway, fucking triple X, chili powder, and a chili. Oh, in the curry, fucked. In the curry, sorry. In the curry, fucked. Ah. Oh, now, right no. then, I smell it. First right. thing you smell it is the pain. You smell the pain. <laughs> you do. You smell the pain much of Much like shit. your fucking Fury Burgers. It, well, it's much the same kind of seasoning. Oh. Jesus Christ. Now, okay. smell that on the floor as an envelope from the city council. Yes. 
Now, I may have passed you a copy. Well, because I got a, I got a letter and I got an email. This is wonderful. Now, <laughs> it just, isn't it fucking funny? And this is a bona fide uh, letter you've received from it's the. Pay, I now technically you only have page one of two. Right. Okay, but that's all I need. I kind of work a fucking printer. Because essentially, <laughs> it's a uh, dear Mister Scott, and of course your address here as well. Is uh, it's a Wait, noise? Which is what? It's uh, Aberdeen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> A noise nuisance complaint, seemingly against yourself, and it says, and it's point one, and this is a genuine, I'll show the camera here as well, but it will cover your address there, but you know, genuine kind of letter there as well, and it says, point one, uh, of course, excessive noise witnessed coming from bedroom. Now, <laughs> so it continues, during a visit on Tuesday, 11th of March 2014, Environmental health officers witnessed unreasonable and highly prolonged levels of noise emanating from your premises through your neighbour's bedroom ceiling. Which is my bedroom. Right. My bedroom is above their bedroom. So, council officers describe these noises as frantic and rhythmic thumping. (laughs) 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 Oh, it gets better, though. It gets better. Let him recover. Let him recover. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. It gets better. Right. So, <clears throat> frantic and rhythmic thumping, raised voices, mm. and, <laughs> a con- and a continual drone of a loud power tool. You <laughs> <laughs> need the most fucking horrendous letter you would ever receive. The officers did make contact with you at your residence to confirm that you were responsible for the excessive noise during that time. The officers would have attempted to speak to you to abate this matter. But felt highly felt highly uncomfortable in your presence after you ignored several requests to change in some clothing. Oh, <laughs> Are you sweet. this can't be genuine? Genuine. This genuine. Hold on. Did you turn up at the door with the fucking puddings out, wait, holding an SDS drill with a fucking vibrator attached to it? Genuine. It says if this if this proceeds, if this happens again, you can face court proceedings and or eviction from your home. I'd cow doing his day. Are you I... genuinely telling me that they've written to you to say that they feel uncomfortable because you were standing there damn near naked or naked? Man. Please t- tell me. Tell me, please. This is not fabricated. Ch- no. Because holy shit, a that Tuesday is gold. Tuesday is my day off. And right, it might be sausage breast day off as well. I'm pinning this to the fucking board. This is no, getting pinned to the board. <laughs> so you were smashing the puddings <coughs> at the fucking sausage breath. Aye, smashing, proper smashing. The so fucking... you were proper power drilling her, screaming. I, I might have been screaming. You Did you at pump. any point go? Hold I'm on. the TV repairman. <laughs> <laughs> and then, wow. I started, then I started. That's crying. This <laughs> has been <laughs> Mr. Pick's <laughs> second <laughs> joke <laughs> of the week. Half, half, halfway through. Mummy, uh, mummy, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> <Sausage> <laughs> breath, <laughs> halfway through, the fucking door went. But, but uh, l- l- let me back pedal through because I heard you say that you were screaming. Maybe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not going to ask why. Were the crocodile clips on you? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you Don't heard, knock it till you tried it, boys. So you heard knocking at the door. There was, no, it was not so much knocking. It was fucking. I thought the door was getting thumping. Kicked in. Okay, thumping on the door. <laughs> Thinking it's the postie, right? So or yodel, well, mate, well or no. yodel. yodel for Christmas, <laughs> or the fucking exorcist come to exec- fucking expurge the demons. Uh, so tiptoed to the door, stuck my head around the door. Two guys, okay, the uh, Mormons. <laughs> no, no, well, I, white uh, shirts, ties, and a book in their hand. Did, 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 they, did, 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 did they say? Hold on, I'll have a guess. Uh, I am uh, here about the house sale. Uh, have you heard the word of Jesus? Uh, I, was, I was going to say next. Okay. Have you heard the word of Jesus? No, I was presented with a badge. Right. And I thought, oh, hello. Open the door. Stackers. Oh. Their fucking faces are fucking treat. <laughs> oh, it's boy's face. Um, so, <laughs> would you mind putting on some clothes, please? No. Can I help you? <laughs> Two minutes to ask me to wear clothes. Could you please change it clothes when you speak to you? No. Is it anything important? No. Fuck off. Slam the door. That's fucking genius. That really and what is. was the badge? Was it the city council police? No, it was uh, like an environmental health. It was just like a typical badge. Like a school teacher's badge. Environmental uh, health. No, uh, environment health. Yes. Quality. Do you think it'd be the smells that we're about to complain about? Not the fucking noises. I don't think you're covering the address there. But I am. Um, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not covering the uh, the address from the council, but uh, I'm covering his address. I'm, I'm never in, so. Why, <laughs> why are you bothering covering it? Just release it. Release it. Well, so, that letter fucked me off. Right. Curry fucked me off. 
went to my bed. Oh. Uh-huh. It was like nine o'clock. It was fucking night. I couldn't stay awake. Now I'm lying in my bed, and of course, you go to your bed, you fall asleep in the city, you're out. You go to your bed, yes. you can never get to sleep. True. So I'm lying in the fucking bed, trying to get to sleep, and I was just teetering on that edge. On the of, brink. Of, of the Zeds. Right. And there's this fucking flashing blue lights. Oh. <laughs> I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> what have I done now? <laughs> have they found light. the bodies? <laughs> have they found my collection of small shoes? Yes. Right. In the West Wing. My, my bag of children's feet. Oh, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so, Vacuum packed. <laughs> There's a flashing light. My <laughs> collection of random fucking bloodstained willies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Flashing light. Now, this is through a blackout blind. Right. I'm like, what so the they're fuck? right outside. Yeah, and I'm thinking, I could hear, like, a heavy engine. So I'm like, that's not, like, a taxi letting some drunken cunt off of the building. Ah. Uh, looked at the building. Couldn't see fuck all except smoke and lights. Oh, right. And, ooh, did she flush that cover down the drain? <laughs> it's eating through the fucking <laughs> system. Yeah, it's, it's like alien's blood. Ah. Uh-huh. No, no. Building's on fire again. Oh, no. Uh, this is the second time the flat's gone on fire. Really? Not my, not my building. Uh-huh. No, somebody's fallen asleep. Would it, would it, would I, see, I wonder whether or not an, an adjacent flat is Scott actually creating friction burns from prying open Charles Michelangelo at Wilson's <laughs> <laughs> That's my... <laughs> 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 so, right. <laughs> oh, oh, you made it bad. You made it bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, fire, fire in a building or fire? fire. In, well, smoke. Ah. Uh-huh. Now, last time this happened in October. Last time it happened, they banged on my door. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on again? I answered it bollock naked. Lovely. Because you know, special because it's at night. <laughs> <laughs> and the fireman was fucking mental. You apeshit, man. Really? So I'm thinking it's the same fire, money. It's the same thing. Just to say, look, there's been like smoke in the building. And yeah, yeah. Is everything okay? So I went to the door, bollock naked. It was the creepy neighbour from across the landing. Oh, even better. Who waits until sausage breath goes out uh-huh. before she knocks at my door. Oh, really? Yeah, well, she knocked at my door the other day. She was cleaning out her cupboard. Uh-huh. <laughs> she cleaned out her cupboard and she found... She came to my door with jump leads. Right. Jump leads for a car. And she goes to me, if I throw these jump leads in the bin, will the bin go on fire? Oh, brilliant. And that- then she kept sort of like looking over my shoulder to see if there was anybody in. Can I come in? Oh, get fucked. And, oh, that, and that's what? when you're meant to say, no, but I'll tell you what, I'll take those jump leads and I'll nip down to Panda Rosa and I'll get a fiver for them, seeing as they're full of copper. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take those jump leads and I'll collect it to my car battery later on tonight. Oh, dear. <laughs> really? Oh, dear. And my nipple ends. <laughs> <laughs> one, of my ba- one of my balls, one of my ear. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, so at Saturday. Oh, oh, there's I, more. Oh, I'm not finished. Oh, you carry on, sir. I'm just steamrolling. That's okay, you fucking do it. So Sunday, I got like one hour fucking sleep because if firemen wake you up and you think your building's over you're going to be a bit edgy going to sleep. Right. So it's like a fucking hour of sleep and sausage breath goes. Oh, stay big up. Uh, I'll have another hour. I'll get a taxi to work. It's okay. Right. I'm not going in at seven. I'm going to eat. Okay. Because I didn't open till 11. Oh, okay. Don't, don't you know? I did. I did. I, I did. did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I get a taxi. Taxi comes. It's a customer. Oh. A lady taxi driver. Oh. I've never had a lady taxi Have driver. Have you not? No. She recognised the king of butchery. Oh, did she really? She did indeed. <laughs> she said, um, would you be okay, okay if... I know, I, I'm not supposed to ask this. The barn of butchery. Uh, my thumbs were in my coattails. Right, okay. I waited for her. I made her open the door for me. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she says, uh, I know it's not professional, but would it be okay if I got petrol? Because I'm kind of low. Oh. Because a woman like freaks out if they see like a flashing light. Right. I says, well, I'd be late for my work. Could I get the taxi gratis? And then we haggled a price. She said, two pounds. I said, sold to the bar end. <laughs> okay. So, we went into the car park. No, spicy curry. Right. I've been feeling ropey. Oh, yes, of course. Fucking guts are killing me. Now, she gets out to fill up the uh, car. The right. Pedal. I'm not a driver, as you can You're tell. You're not a driver, As no. you can tell. No. I may have let one slip. Oh. He was in the departure lounge at the time. Okay. I thought, by the time she pays for the petrol, the big queue, comes back out, gets in the car. When you say you let one slip, I is this a cheese. solid... Or no, no. A, okay, no, okay. No, no. Well, you've got to ask, you know, because it happened to me before. But, you know, you, you have to ask if you shut your pants. No, okay. Not at all. Just a farty. Just a farty. Right. Thinking, by the time she's gone and paid, come back out, spill the gone. Okay. Little did I know you can pay at the pump. Oh, yes, you can, yes. And she got straight back in the car. Oh, lovely. <laughs> now, as you can tell, when she opened the door, 
smell may have caught her. Right. May have knocked her the in the chin. The smell of death. The smell of triple X fucking jalapeno <laughs> fucking powder. And it this worked its way through your horrible opened, gastric system. <laughs> she opened the door and she came up, mm. and then she got, I'm fucking. She suddenly developed Bell's palsy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certain she took a deep breath before she got in. And from the shell garage next to my home uh-huh. to the shop, no talking. Oh, really? No conversation, no patter. Because she was probably breathing through her mouth. She was too scared to do anything else. Pretty sure she was sick twice. <laughs> <laughs> Just swallow it, it's okay. <laughs> <coughs> You've heard that before. Oh, yeah. so, uh, so, of course, that was the... Now, is, is that the end to No, your... that was Sunday oh into the God. shop. Oh, my God. I get into the shop. You no, know, but the thing is, so is what, what gets me so far is your weekend of chaos hasn't involved any non-discount dot. I'm getting to that. Oh, right, okay. I'm Sorry. getting to oh, that. Okay. I get into the shop. Okay. Opens the shutters. Okay, as you do. that the alarm for my chill is ringing. Now, the, the chill alarm rings if the door is left open too long. Right. Or if the temperature raises. Okay. The door was left open. Oh. I always close said door. Right. Some drunken cunt was in the shop. Oh. Left a little half jakey note. I was in. I got my supper when I left. Oh, so he so he's got keys to get in. He's got keys to let himself in only on a Tuesday. Right. When I'm not there. Okay. When I'm getting hustled by well, the Well, clearly not. <laughs> well, I He's know. got pissed on Saturday and thought, I'll get a wee fucking bit of takeaway here. I'll come in and just steamroll your fucking birthday steaks. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, I'm wanting some of this birthday steaks you was getting. <laughs> okay. Oh, so that kind of fucking toppled me. Right. To the point where I was on the edge of fucking just going mental and postal. Rage. Oh, blind fury. So I made myself a cup of tea to try and settle my nerves. Okay, yeah. Doors open, do. filled the counter. My shutters are being painted as oh, we speak. okay. In comes the biggest fucking fly you've ever seen. The biggest fly? Fly. It was oh, like, right. It was like Jeff Goldblum flying around the fucking place. <laughs> okay. This fucking thing. I'm getting fish the old uh, John I'm Coffey. John thing Coffey as well, as well it yeah. flew into the flies up <laughs> Like the drinks, it's better differently. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bunjangles. That's the one. This thing cooked for about an hour. <laughs> and it exploded in my cup of tea. Oh, no. Come on, now. It went bang. And when they explode, they fly out and it flew into my cup of tea. And Did I watched they explode? it. Oh, well, in the fly, in my fly zapper, they do. Hey? I've got like a Tim Taylor fucking souped up fly I zapper. I was going to say, of You've course. You've got to remember, though, in Tilly Drone, you think of the mutant foul smelling shite that those things are fucking scoffing on the Tilly Drone. Can I? Methadone fed dog shit can methadone I, fed dog shit flies can I just turn to our translator stroke uh, cultural relations stroke yes. uh, 80s 90s pop culture reference person and ask uh, Tim Taylor of course uh, Tim that was 90s doctor. 90s now I did say right. 80s 90s so uh, <laughs> the Tim Taylor doctor uh, flies at her Who's Tim Taylor? Tim Taylor. Well, do you know what? I haven't got a fucking clue. Oh, shit. Tim the Toolman Taylor. Tim the Toolman Taylor. Oh. oh. Tool oh. time. Yes. 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 Okay. Home improvements. Home yes. improvements. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. A brilliant show. Yes. I own the box set. <laughs> and that's and it's in a fucking steel fucking toolbox. Wonderful. That is now very relevant now because he has a right hand man who rocks a beard. Does he? He's right. He'd been arrested for cocaine possession in the ha- 70s. He was, yes. He's he was jailed for that as well. He's gather. a biker too. Roadhog. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we can all love him. We can all love him. So, um, you've had so, it's f- exploding so fly. Jeff Goldblum explodes into my cup of tea. Okay. And I fucking raged. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Bunch of Angles. <laughs> Did you just bend him <laughs> Leave the lad on ball. <laughs> So, I've got a table that's against what you might have seen said table. I might have been modifying a guitar when you was in procuring a birthday stick. Hold, yes, hold you on. on. <laughs> you're modifying do, a guitar do, do you know in your what? butcher store. It was store. funny. We were in the butchers, and uh, there on the right-hand side was this workbench set up modifying a guitar. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> I was hoping it was a there, there was There was a solder and iron and everything rock in there. It was cool. <laughs> what the fuck? That's Boiler genius. suit material. Fuck you, Grandad. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a table braced against the wall, basically. And I grabbed this table after fucking Jeff Goldblum's leg landed in my cup of tea. Right. And I fucking rage this table, <laughs> fucking. I shit myself. It's <laughs> 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 so fucking funny. I fucking shit myself. Because <laughs> of the curry, the water is shit you've ever heard in your life. 
did it did it travel down your leg and then leave you with a fucking broom footprint as you're going to your fucking toilet <laughs> not at the table when I walked towards the door it lock it did is, I mean is down it, the back of my leg is it wise that you've just confessed now on the radio well, I said radio on the on the show that you've shat your pants on I mean Sunday. obviously we, we said before about discount Donald obviously shitting our way in the shop but <laughs> We don't want to hear about you having shakes in the show. What's a biohazard for fuck's sake? I've got spare clothing. I've had said accidents before. All ah, right, okay. Spare jeans, spare pantaloons. Good thinking. So uh, there was a lot of um, listeners in on Sunday. And they were asking what's wrong. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> 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 Shit myself, boys. It was so long. These ribs look a bit fruity. Well, <laughs> I sat on the toilet crying near enough. I was that close to sobbing. It had been such a shit weekend. Oh no! That's now after you had after you had obviously passed the old watery air biscuit, did you then have to go to the toilet and give it what for? And it came out you like a power hose. <laughs> come out like well, I showed you the photo. Give it the weed. Oh dick with a, oh <laughs> oh! Was that was that fucking uh, Sunita? Is that what you were showing me? Yeah. yeah. Don't do. But the thing is, so it's right. I, I I saw a glimpse of your photograph there as well, and it appears, of course, you've made that kind of raft to keep it off the did you pre-plan to make well, a raft well, or well obviously for those out there if you're wanting to know exactly what he made he made a shit mitt a shit yes mitt. a shit mitt yes in, in honour of uh, my comrade who I have not seen this weekend who you're but, missing my yeah, as well totally missing him because even I'm I mean pining for him now, of Maynard course, well we are missing Maynard because Maynard's had a bit of a kind of family emergency so uh, he could be taken off down south so uh, but and of course I want to wish him all the best uh, for him and, and his family too they've had a bit of a bad time of things so ah. Um, us all. Uh, yeah, exactly. I feel you more off the show, so, so you know. So our, our thoughts are with Maynard. Exactly. Our thoughts are with uh, Maynard and his family right now. There um, might be a 2.5 litre bottle of chili and tequila marinade from. Holy moly. As we have come as, as we have uh, uh, Welcome support. Welcome back. Exactly. Do, do you know what you need to do is arrange for him to come round to get his ribs. And then I'll pop in 50 minutes beforehand and steal them. <laughs> yes. Somebody did that once. He went fucking mental. He did. I thought he was going to cornflake well, to him in the face. There was a <laughs> there was a listener who came. I f- oh, I'm trying to remember his, his main name now. Shit, I forget his name. I, I apologise. Who messaged me saying he oh, came up. Mr. Kebab Legs. Yes. That's yes. it, Martin. He came up from down south and especially came, came out of his way to visit Lurch Monster. And smashed all the ribs. And <laughs> smashed all the ribs. Even said, give me all the fucking ribs you have just to fuck off Maynard. You know? <laughs> and took all the ribs. Poor Maynard. Fair play. Nothing. Lurch, where's me, where's me ribs, Lurch? <laughs> 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 look, look at all this timber I'm putting on, Lurch. <laughs> hey, old flat cap and pasties. Oh, I want the my fuck? ribs. <laughs> See, Maynard, I could do different voices. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, shit. And not all the same, Maynard. Exactly. Lurch, where's my ribs, Lurch? I'm Lurch. Wait, let, let's talk more ribs, Lurch. I've got, <laughs> <laughs> I've got visions of Maynard sitting in a car right now. That, do you know with what? The streams do you on. know what? That's actually a pretty good impersonation. <laughs> it's I, not I bad. Actually, I actually want more. Oh, yes. More Maynard. <laughs> now, the, since Maynard's not here, we'll have you answer questions as Maynard, maybe. <laughs> maybe know? we can get him to do impersonations as Maynard doing fucking Bane. <laughs> oh, there's that. Yes. Oh, God. Come on, Maynard doing Bane. Can I can I pee pee first then come back? Okay, you go pee pee first. I'll check them. It's done. I've what sorted it. Know? I've sorted it. Yes, <laughs> the, the the plugs back in the wall again. So we're okay. So uh, why why do you go and, and piss everywhere on my floor and stuff my sink? So uh, pink. Uh, we haven't recovered properly how because of course he's been steamrolling ahead with his stories. Yes. Uh, what's been new with yourself? Of course, you've been on a bit of a kind of keep fit kick. You've been... I, yeah, do you know what? Yeah, I have. I've been I've been running because uh, you know it's that time of life where you know you've got to start looking after yourself. True. True. You know we all can't go smashing pies in our face. Exactly. So uh, yes, I've been I decided to be a bit proactive and I've started to run. Right. So from the police or just in general? <laughs> just in general. Right. No, and uh, yeah, do you know what? I'm getting into it. Getting into it slowly. Is it hard to run when you've got like a pepper spray in your eyes, or is it not too bad? Do do you know what? A woman behind you screaming fire, fire. And when you've got a tag that goes off and you're 100 metres in the house as well, that makes it entertaining. Right, okay. Uh, Yeah, but no, it's actually all right, actually. Doing doing about three kilometres a night and stuff like that. So yeah, just picking away and all that. I I probably should sign up for one of these uh, uh, 10k runs, but I'm not Ponce. 
I've seen now I've seen one of these uh, these apps now. Of course, I haven't used it because I'm a fucking fat lazy bastard. But there's an app you can get for running with. And, yes, uh, I believe uh, Jables mentioned this on one of our Facebook updates. The, the zombie app. A zombie app. Yeah, where... I think this is the, the, really for the lurch and whatnot, right? What it is, I believe, it's an app that when you've got. You, you put it on your phone, okay. and and you set it at a pre. I think you you preset it at a certain obviously distance per time and whatnot. If you start dropping beneath your target time, right, the zombies start coming and starts going. So imagine then you've got this on yourself with a pair of headphones in. It must be, and as you as you fall behind pace, you hear them catching you. The, the zombies are catching you, yes, <laughs> right. and this is meant to spur you on to to reach your goals ah i see okay that sounds quite cool actually <laughs> it does actually sound quite good but uh but yeah yeah so just slowly getting into it getting back just starting to starting to trim off the excess winter plumage yes okay got you games a bit more streamlined of course for the forthcoming phrases wedding yeah, that well, that'll be good actually yeah the, the phrases wedding yes yes that's that's not far away at In all fact, of course I saw the phrase at the weekend. Did you really? He popped out to see me because I was home and he came out and uh, it was quite good actually. I had a wee bit of chill time with him and got him to de-stress. The phrase has been wound up tighter than... Uh, I tighter than Charles's ass. Uh. Yeah, well done, sir, well done. The phrase, of course, has been... Of course, we've been chatting uh, through Facebook as well, as well, of course, the phrase. And phrase has been, um, I mean, on, on well, a knife's edge. Do you know what? I don't understand it, right? Having never been married and the way things are going, never will be. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, the, Shit, okay. The, 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 I don't get that, right? That if you're going to be getting married, and as I say, don't have much experience of it. Of course, other show hosts do, right? And they'll be able to impart various At knowledge least two on it. Of them, <laughs> for fuck's yeah. sake, the fucking 3D TVs, nothing, right? Uh, is that it's meant to be your day? No, I don't get it because I, I understand it's meant to be your day, but why the fuck are family and people going to weddings fuck shit up? Well. Exactly. Now, here's my point. As you said there, it's supposed to be a day for you to celebrate being together with the one you love and becoming a family and everything else. And I mean, it's mostly for the women. It's like a Primark day. They get to go and buy a fucking stupid dress, wank loads of money down the toilet on a fucking cake and everything like that and go, oh, look at me. And what they do is they get to their Uber. They get to their Uber like, oh, I'm really thin and fucking drawstringed into this fucking dress and I look at my tits and everything. Oh, I look great. And right. then they become a big fat non blowjob given who just shortly <laughs> right, afterwards, okay. right? Holy shit. Holy shit. Obviously, only in my mind, this is obviously just, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, obviously... You know, from the pink perspective, oh, if you will. Of course, that's exactly. The PP. The PP. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but the thing is, is that why the fuck, right? Does it not run smoothly? Oh, such and such is, is coming and they're fucking taking a plus one of a cunt I don't like and da 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 da, that kind of shit. It just sounds like such a ball. Like you're far better off just you, Mrs. Vegas, Elvis wedding. Exactly. Exactly. Just go away and do that. Because the phrase has been, uh, I mean, for example, last week we did kind of talk about phrase at length. Did we? Um, we about angry, I did hear. About, <laughs> now, I mean, also you heard, <laughs> Lurge. Fucking uh, <laughs> You know, drunk free, angry phrase. Uh, uh, cr- cry. <laughs> cry <laughs> phrase. And, and I'd said to phrase, you know, through the week there, oh, did you get a chance to hear the show <laughs> at all? No. And I went, okay, um, when you do, uh, bear in mind, it's all in fun. And we love you. And the reply was basically, if you fuckers have even mentioned the wedding or stag do anything at all, I will properly fucking freak out. And I believe two hours later there was a, I fucking hate you all. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, we may have pushed it, I mean, because the phrase has been, I mean, wound, I mean, went up tighter than Charles' ass. He's but Shuggy's been, ass. He's been f- on a razor's edge of, 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 of suicide. I'm telling you, it rage. Takes a Jeff Goldblum's leg to explode in his cup of tea. That's all it and takes. That's and there's shit in the back of your yeah, legs. That's and. It. <laughs> I mean, of course, a lot of stress with, you know, getting the venue planned, the seating areas planned, is getting people to kind of coexist in the same room. People who might not get on too well or blah, 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 and family who've got all got problems. I mean, I believe, I mean, I can't go into too much detail, but there's even like clingers on who are inviting themselves and stuff. And it's just but the do, DHB. You know, do you know <laughs> Pretty much, pretty do, much. Do you know what's funny though, right? And it's the one thing that, that he's touched on, and I hope I'm not going out of turn by mentioning this. But do it. if you're having a wedding and you like, say, because a lot of people have nothing, 
Oh, yes. Nothing, if you want to nothing. translate, is nothing, yes. Yes. If you've got nothing, and say you want your toaster, or you want your, your, your fucking Denby plates, or you want your bed sets, or whatever, that's fine. But if you've got everything, it is your right to be able to say, well, do you know what? We've got everything, but I'll tell you what, give us a couple of quid towards a donation. We'll put the rainy day fund for either the kids, or, or whatever, or, or when we go to move house, or whatever. Then you should respect their wishes yes and just do that exactly you should then not go oh here oiman uh shall i just give some money to charity no Cause, exactly because because if, if i wanted you to give fucking money to charity i would have fucking said so no i want you to give me money you fucking cunt i know it's <laughs> should we give money to charity in your name and you know when pe- people say that they don't do it really They're like aye. oh yeah i just need a uh, hundred pounds aye, to fa- uh jump no in needs. fact i gave 200 pounds actually because oh, i'm fucking really? billy big balls and I, yes no 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 and the thing is right and i know a lot of people don't like giving money because they're going oh, fuck, i can only afford 20 quid whereas 20 quid can actually get me a couple of nice like champagne Chilly glasses ribs. to make it look like yeah <laughs> or, or a butcher pack that's right? totally what i'm doing <laughs> yeah, butcher pack. Butcher pack. right now the thing is is I am going to give Frey some money, but I'm also going to give him a gift. Yeah, yeah. Because because I am quite a practical chap, and I'm going to make him something. Oh, nice. Yes. Take fucker. <laughs> oh, hold on. I said I was going to give rec- money oh, and money. a gift, you large-heated whore. Can I recommend jewellery uh, from Amazon? Ah, really? Gonna... Oh, oh, you got air for it. Hey! Yeah, but the thing is, though, the gift I'm going to give him, I want to last longer than the marriage. Okay, lovely, yes. lovely. <laughs> I've got a gift already for him. Have you really? A canvas. Oh, have you? Oh, oh no. Oh, my word. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what, You've is, got to worry when Lord says he's got a canvas for you as a gift. Is it, is it like a six by four that goes on the roof above the bed? There could be a six <laughs> by four in this fucking studio. If he, if he gets his way from what I can gather pre-show there, but we'll get to that later on. But, uh, fucking hell. Um, gentlemen, of course, it's, it's just been past uh, the old uh, steak and a blowjob day. <sighs> Did now, you see one's uh, publicity stunt? Uh, no, I didn't see your publicity stunt. Did you not? No, I did not, sir. I what did a, you do? I put my uh, Twitter profile photo on the Tilly Butcher page. Uh, I did, but I did see I that. Did it see was that. cropped. I was well, say it, it's it, heavily it, edited. It wasn't edited to begin with. Well, for those of you, of course, I'll, I'll turn to, of course, our <laughs> ambassador stroke uh, multilinguist um, cultural reference, 80s, 90s, uh, to, to describe exactly oh. what the photograph was like. Well, this photograph was, uh, say, a picture of Lurch uh, looking in a mirror, uh, bedecked and bedazzled with lots of dildos, and Buff all he fuck. was wearing was one of those little kind of uh, little waiter style cardboard uh, collars with bow tie yes and taking a photograph of with himself with the biggest grin you've ever seen the biggest grin he's I mean he do you know a, a face you know, of joy like you've just seen Charles's tight black I was ass. just about to say if you want to imagine how much a smile was on his face it was just as if he'd woken up in the morning and that big black ass was in front of him oh, like yeah. the sun winking like sort of wink- gently oh. That, 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 that little pink core there inviting Uh-oh. you in. Okay, so you've got this photograph which is you know what? Edited. I reckon tonight's show should just be called Charles's Tight Ass. Charles's Tight Ass, exactly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. So, so you've, of course, posted this picture of yourself with some steaks. No. No. Uh, the steaks was a separate photo. The st- the st- it was, it was no, that's what I meant in the, the post. The things that I staked Moira with were cropped out. Oh, right. So, so what was the kind of the advertising employ here? Oh, staking the blowjob day. Not surely, yes, but what did, what did you do to kind of promote it apart from the photographs? Uh, there was a little caption. The, the fucking Australian butcher's probably nicked. It's right. probably got my face and everything. Okay. Cock. Um, it says, ladies, the only meat that should be in your mouth this March 14th is Lurch Monsters. Oh, nice. Steak. Now, I have to ask, of course, as a butcher, I imagine you had a maybe higher than average amount of women coming in on that day. A lot of red faces. I was going to say, it was a lot of kind of bars like, eh, steak, please. There was when I pointed out, so, you're bound steak. March 14th. <laughs> Did you? There was a couple of guys come in together and bought steaks each. Uh-huh. Two steaks each. And I said, so... Who's getting the blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> I did hear from other uh, sources, uh, maybe the Rubes, who said that, you know, uh, in the supermarket, there was like a, a lot of kind of red face. Uh, kind of uh, oh, hold on. Back the up. Back, back, back up. up. She, she has, was where? She has got a defence, though. She I has got none. a defence. None. Because of, sadly, of Lurch's open hours weren't long enough. 
So I she... Know. Oh, seven, seven till time, five. Oh, dear I. By the time she <laughs> finished <laughs> work... <laughs> Hello, is that the lurch? Hello, yes, can you set aside a couple of steaks, please? Oh, uh, most uh, certainly, sir. Oh, uh, and can you actually drop them off at the, the uh, big man's house? Not a problem, so my oh, way. Oh, thank you very much. Not a problem, Love the sir. rubes. Ciao, ciao. I <laughs> love the rubes. <laughs> so, but yeah, there were seemingly quite a few red-faced young ladies. Oh, I know, it's how he's totally fucking I getting off of I bet there was red-faced yeah. fucking going to generic supermarkets to buy meat. Hey, I know, and I know. I was as shocked as you were. I was as shocked. Not supporting local business. Do you know what this is, Lurch? What this is this, is, Mr. This Pink? Is, this is her following his lead. Oh, yes, yeah, spending went, as much money. She went to. She went and spent How money on a are. lower quality product <laughs> elsewhere rather than going and buying the better quality product like jewellery. Bet this steaks didn't fucking fall apart. That was a it? shit connection <laughs> there. That was really quite bad, that one. The better quality, like jewellery. So I'm going to okay. spend the rest of the show like this. Cause I can't fucking look at you. Uh, uh, look at me. Jake, you uh, ate them. You fucking ate them. I you did cooked eat. them in this house. I did cook them. They were delicious. I bet they're full of water. They were probably better than the fucking massive monster heat when you gave that bastard over there. I hope oh, I'd fucking... like, I've been aging nothing for weeks. Now, oh. now, do you know what I'm going to do is that when I get home tonight, if I'm not too tired, I'll take that fucker out of the freezer with a fucking <laughs> spade, right? And then I will set the which is the generic if you want to check give a kind of a, a, a degree of what size something is you go and get your generic remote control for your hard drive device uh, digital telly type thing right we won't give that fucking Aussie cunt any more fucking free advertising right and you set the remote control beside the steak and that's what I will do to give just a an idea of girth and size. I, I see. Now, the uh, thing is, though, I, going back to the whole steak and blowjob thing, I, I, there is a concern, though, about that day. About that day and about, you know, the connection what, what with blowjobs. No, 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 no. There, <laughs> there's a it connection. wasn't for me. No. no. <laughs> there's, there, there's a, my concern is, though, is that if we're kind of pushing this as being the blowjob day, you know, do we make it then too special where women think, oh, it's okay, I don't have to do it regularly because you'll get it on March or, 14th. Ah. See, my point is that, you know, oh, well, like, you know. I'll, oh, hey, listen, cunt, oh, you get I it on March 14th. I don't have to do it. Exactly, you Aye. know. You get it on your birthday on March 14th, maybe at Christmas time, and that's you, sir. If we're, if we're and maybe specializing. If, and maybe if I'm pissed as well and I'm feeling a bit horny and you can fucking put your sauce all over my face, that kind of thing, yeah. Think about Charles T. I mean, so, <laughs> so, you know, it's you've got to think, are we making this too special? Where, you know, it's that kind of thing where they can use it as a gay of clothes. Hmm, it's not your birthday, is it? Look at poor Freeze. Why, why, why make it a day? He's not a sniff for fucking years. Why, the dull away, then. why make it a day? Why not just make it a blowjob month? Can we not make it a blowjob year? Oh, why does it have to like, be a day? Like in, Ch in China, you're the monkey. No, you're the blowjob. <laughs> it just, you know, that's the risk that we have. Is that, I'm you assuming you boys don't get blow blowjobs as regular as I do. <laughs> not, but I'm then, not really fussed. But not, then the difference really is for us, though, is that ours are consensual, where yours is a poor blush bit tied to a fucking strap to a bed <laughs> with, a, with a, you know, a clockwork orange tail fucking... Thank device in their mouth to keep it open. For so, Charles's face. They're, cert they're, <laughs> For they're, Charles. they're certainly not as prevalent as they used to be. Then. <laughs> oh, <well>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, look at his bottles. They're all empty. Wow. <laughs> so, yes, they'll do. Moving on swiftly. <laughs> oh, Damn, that's, a, that's a lovely bald head you have there. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Nearly as bald as Charles type black. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, yeah, that's my concern. But also as well, though, there's also now as well uh, women's groups who are taking offence to stake in a blowjob Oh, day. get to fuck! I know, I knew this would raise what? your ire, that they're saying that it's, you know, it's oh, ridiculous. It's pressure on them all, poor ass. Exactly, no, got to that's give exactly head. it, you know. Fuck you, you fucking cunt! They're, they're saying that, oh, but don't you guys realise that, that it's not a day just for you, it's, you know, Valentine's Day is for you as well, but we've oh! got to share that with... Oh, Are you fucking just kidding you, me? Just you wait, Pink. So, I mean, there's a website called The Jane Doe who published an article Fucker. that basically said is that we live in a patriarchal society. If you're a man, the way it means that every day for you is like Valentine's Day. That there shouldn't be a day where we have to subjugate ourselves to you men pigs. That, you know, Valentine's Day isn't just for us, it's for you guys too. You, I ask you now, Lurch, Valentine's Day, you know, is it a day for both both sexes? It is in the Baron's home. It, oh, right. Is it really? Mm. Oh, is it really? Okay, okay. But um, on Valentine's Day, we become uh, an arsehole 
connected to either end. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pink, I'll ask you because you're obviously a bit. <laughs> oh, no. He's got the massive dildo. Fantastic. Um, so, <laughs> but yeah, that's the problem we have now is that it's now becoming a point where the I'm fear is. I assume that the, uh, Miss Female who wrote this. Either husband has a tadger with nine pound of fromage free under the hill. Oh, mark. Jesus, <laughs> man. She's not getting the special kisses. She's <laughs> or both. Or she's got a short back and sides and she eats fanny. Right. Don't, well, I can't. I get a lot of them into the shop. I must say that they're quite pleasant. Oh, really? Uh, they're not as butch as you would think. Oh, okay. I have had two butchers in. You two butchers more, in. More butcher than me. I like how you call them butchers. Oh, Pat, Pat fucking butcher. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. So, so Peggy, you went and saw it. Oh, it was weird, right? Because they come in, they were like the most butchest um, librarians I'd ever met. Right. And they bought a 20 pound pump mix. Okay. And all the bought was sausages. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Mix signals. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's move on to the, uh, the news. Fuck you, people. Here's the headlines on the DHB News. Just to clarify as well, the chat room there, Susie Biker says it's no group that she's a member of, you know, she's happily, she's lashing at blowjobs to her, her husband. <laughs> I imagine all the time, you know, daily daily and nightly, you know, just constantly getting Charles' oh, really So, <laughs> here's a story, though, that got my eye, though, was, now, here's a problem I have as well, though, when it comes to certain stories. It's much like when people spam my Facebook page with spider photographs. Ha! Ah, ah, Scott, I love this! Ha! Ah, spiders! Stop right. eating pies! It's... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? See, now, I hate those spider posts, too. Yeah. Because somebody put one on your Twitter page the other day. I couldn't look at the old Twitter fucking news I had because it was there. Oh! Went, it's oh! And then just went back up. <laughs> just, just, no, but what is funny is that it's like, is, is when it's been up, Why like, am I it, holding it, a certain <laughs> thing, like, say, for instance, the guy trying to get the spider on the roof. Oh. Right? Oh. Now, now, you know now, now, the thing is, I don't mind about spiders. It doesn't bother me at all. But I swear, if I had a fucking pound for the amount of times I've seen that on your feed. Oh. And, and the thing is, what is hilarious is, right? Now, listeners, take note. If you're going to post something like this up, don't be the kind of listener that never goes on Facebook and posts it up as if and as if you're the first person to have seen this video. Exactly. Joe, oh, look at what I've found and, and have a look on the YouTube. If it says it's got fucking 43 million views, there's a chance. There's a strong chance. And it was you that he's seen it before. But the thing is, and as you said there, it's it's the same photographs and the same videos. See, if we all thought that about, uh, in, in general, fucking terms of Facebook, the chat page would never have a post. I know. There would I never know. be anything in the chat it's, page. It's like that joke about the guy that's got the fucking cactus in his back garden and it's shaking. Oh, whatever you do, get the fuck out of the house because it was just about to explode with all the spiders. I know, exactly. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> there's, I mean, and even even like, even as recently as like yesterday, there's more... Sp- Scott Taylor will like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, I've been tagged in these same that photographs. like fucking Charlie Brown's teacher. That's <laughs> a fat person laughing. <laughs> Backlin. So, so, so I've been tagged in a lot of these photographs, and I swear there's at least two that I can think of, think of that I've been tagged in at least 50 times. And, but, you know, okay, I get it. I'm a, I don't like spiders. Wahoo. Just stop tagging me in this shit all the time. It just, it's getting... But again, also the problem is, is that when people find news stories that are particularly kind of eye-catching, this story in particular, I think, was posted about 10 times, either through my page or through I was tagged in it or on the chat page. And, and, and here's a quick thing. If you've got a good news story, PM us. Yes. Then we can then release the goodness to the listeners. PM it, email it in, message me directly if need be. But don't just go, look at this, ah, fucking look at this, sculpt to tag, sculpt to tag, 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 tag. It's about a man who, uh, I believe down south somewhere, maybe in Middlesbrough, who um, basically is missing a penis. His oh. penis. Sorry, I've looked at the chat page. Don't need You've probably seen it already. Yeah. Everyone's seen it already. Do you know what? I deliberately didn't read the fucking story. Missing penis, which was previously seen last attached to the man, of course. A uh, 40 year old man was found the side of the A66 of Millsborough in a distressed state, missing his manhood. A distra- now, hold on. 
Can I ask you boys here? Understatement. Hold on. Yes. Well. Right. Now, if say, now you see the thing is, right, we've all probably had a small kick to the testes. You know that oh, one? Oh, yes. Right, because you can get a full hoof in. Right? Oh, aye. A proper kind of <clears throat> cunt punt-esque kick to the genitals. And it can you can be in discomfort. But when you get that one that just touches the oh, bell. Oh, just, just clips. Ding! Right. Oh. Right. Now, that would be a distressed state yes. if you had a ding on the testicles. Someone cutting your cock off. <laughs> I think a distressed state doesn't quite cover it. A good point. I mean, big man, if someone cut your cock off, would you be distressed? I, I watched a TV show today. If I, it's a TV show that you've recommended to me as well called Banshee. It is <coughs> fucking brilliant. It's, you know what? I watched it before. I watched like half the first kind of four episodes before and thought it was okay and then kind of stopped. Not because I didn't like it, but because I kind of I forgot about it, you see. Mm. But then after hearing yourself and of course uh, uh, Guy Cherub, who's a uh, host of the Ned Fells podcast, Mentioned it again about this. I thought I'll go back and check there's it out. So, hot fucking in it. Well, but not only that though, but I saw an episode today where there's a big albino guy oh. who, whilst trying to mouth fuck a guy in prison, gets his dick chopped off. Oh, and fucking... even seeing that, I was like, oh, oh no, oh what? no. You had to check oh, your cock was you give it a oh. wee check, just a wee touchy. Oh, you're still there, pal. It's okay. <laughs> oh, what the I mean, fuck? Well, this poor guy is then has, has also been hospitalised. And then the roads shut for hours while cops have to walk the length of the dual carriageway to try and find his missing That's member. That's a bit optimistic. Is it still Bungie we're speaking that? about? No, 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 no. no. This is, this poor, I mean, uh, could you imagine? Not only is your penis off, but they can't find it. That's <laughs> Listen, the worrying all thing. I need to say about Banshee, for those people who are on the fence, hot naked women fucking and an Amish gangster that does Wing Chun. There you go. Wang Chung, is that not an 80s band? Right, okay. That's all days. Any stories, Ben? Right, I've got a kind of half... Right, there was a story I read in the paper today. Okay. Now, it's just fucking brilliant, right? Now, everyone knows I'm a cunt. Right. But I was comprehensively unaware that I knew that the word cunt would be in the dictionary, oh. but I didn't realise there would be other additions. Didn't realise there'd be a photo of you? Well, well... <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Honk! Here's my horn getting honked. Uh, we, we, we have to get a new horn. Oh, fuck that. I couldn't use it. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. sorry, fuck that. Every cunt is using it. Right, okay. Now, the, the thing is, they've now put in, in derivatives. Right. Now, there off was cunt. Off cunt. Now, okay. I was, uh, and this is brilliant. Flange. No, 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 no. Divot. No. Okay, blurt. Not no, wrong. Okay, wrong. okay. <laughs> Hanging mints. Hold on. Okay. I'll, I'll just get a comfy seat. <laughs> Right, okay, you can I'll, continue. Okay, I'll stop now. Right. Sorry. Clomatus. There we go. <laughs> right. No. Clunge. They've got, they've, they've added a... Wizard th- sleeve. <laughs> Hipple's okay. yarn. Hipple's yarn. <laughs> Predator. No, okay. Shark bite. No, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Mother. Oh. <laughs> Mother. Motherphone. Okay. Right. <laughs> they've put in the word cunted. Charles' ass. They've put in the word cunted. Cunty. <laughs> Uh, right. They've put in the word cunted, cunty. Uh, there's and there was another couple of derivatives, but because I can't access the sun without paying for it, get fucked. Get fucked, right? Basically, okay. I'm having to kind of do it from memory, but it's the fact that they've actually now instead of just the word cunt, they've now got cunty, and cunty is obviously a despicable and highly unpleasant and extremely annoying person. I want somebody to put that word into an iTunes review about Mr. Pink. Uh, to me, please. Uh, no. Cunty. <laughs> there is also cunted. Right. What do you imagine that is? Normally large monster after a few home brews. Well, pretty much. Right, it's okay. It's someone who's had a few too many beers. One too thing. many of his uh, ginger ales where, you know, it consumes your soul. That's I think me. There's also, for, for memory, cuntish. Cuntish? Yes. Is that the language? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's brilliant. Hey, that, that's how uh, the phrase acts when he's pished. Do you know what, <laughs> do you know what I love now? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you know what this spins on to, though? I right. have no idea. Can you imagine? Okay. It's Christmas time. I'm prepped. And no, it's Christmas time and you're sitting with all the family. Jack him on off. A no. Full of Charles. Okay. Uh, and, and you're having a wee bit of mulled wine and, and it's it's an evening time. The and, lights are all in a big tangled knot. You're in and, a nightmare getting them on. Oh, and all nightmare. the family's there and the grandfather goes, do you know what? I he think, dies. I think, I think, no, no, no. We'll get out Scrabble. Our cocks. We'll get out Scrabble. Right. 
Now Scrabble becomes entertaining because it's always got to be words from the Oxford English Dictionary. Oh, okay. Now, how good would it be where you go, oh, I've got a word for you. Cunted. That would be the best Steptoe and Son episode ever. Harold! <laughs> <laughs> You fucking, dirty, dirty old man. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> genius, actually. I like that shit. Um, gentlemen, um, what else so, have we got here? News story So, wise? gentlemen, Susie Biker is starfish. Right. We just took a fart. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I have already clarified that no, no, I wouldn't. Not I'm even Susie But obviously, Very because much. because I'm a bit cunty, I certainly would. You would. <laughs> 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 hey, listen, listen, I'd suck the far out of fucking uh, Susie Biker and I would use Row, Row, Row Your Boat as a filter. Okay, so anyway... <gasps> I, I would watch that. Oh. <laughs> I would pay to see that. Pay-per-view. Hey, listen, <laughs> it's a service we provide. We're going to have to add this shit as in fart extractor on the shop. Three pound oh. content, extra, extra content. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Genius. <laughs> okay. You've got my three pound. Thank you very much, sir. So imagine, guys, now imagine at some point you've gone away and you've Googled your own name to see what comes up. An Australian have... butcher comes up when I Google my <laughs> fucking name. Hold on. Have you ever? Have I ever? Yes. Yes, I have. Does it come up with a shitty actor in martial arts film? Possibly. Does it come up with a shitty wrestler in the 80s? It does that as well, yes. Does it come up with a guy who has a dickhole? Does it come ah, up with... Ah, yes, I remember that. Does it come up with a guy memory, on YouTube? It's a flashback. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Does it come up with a guy on YouTube cougar hunting? I don't have no idea. It fucking does. Does it really? Does it? Do you have you? Okay. Okay, but imagine, of course, that, that like this poor man here who's a, he's a rogue from Palo Alto, California... Christopher Viatafa. He's got online. I thought, oh, I'm a bit bored. I'll just Google my name. Does Charles know him? I've no he idea. He stays in America. Oh, a good point. Yes, they might know each other. He's got to be his cousin. <laughs> so, Charles Viatafa. Of course, quit. Charles Viatafa. Yes. Quit. Two shuggies together. No, sorry. Christopher, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Charles in my mind. I can't get yeah. Charles in my brain there. Oh, I'll tell you. That big Via black ass. Of course, Via Tafa. Oh, 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 <laughs> Is that not that core. ice cream that you buy from Asda? <laughs> oh, the core ones. Oh, the Via Tafa? No, the, oh, I have no idea. Via Neda. The, the caramel you core. You fucked that joke up, did you? The caramel <laughs> core. We're right in the middle of it. Little, little pink stretch. The caramel um, sutra. So, okay, so Via Tafa. He is now, of like, course. It's like two minstrels Via with a Taffa. in the middle. Has a, has do a you unique. Do you like a Via Tafa pink? No, I certainly do. I love a Via Tafa. A very unique surname. You think Dave. by Googling that, you would... And he did. He got first hit, of course, was himself. Was turns that a Google out, whack? T- well, turns out he's on mo- Northern California's most wanted list. <laughs> really? And he had no idea. <laughs> Has he got a tight black ass? Possibly, yes. He had no idea and went and handed himself in. Said, Look, I've, I've just Googled myself. I'm, I'm wanted here. Half me, take me away. Can I have the bounty in cash? Exactly. <laughs> 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 it's lucky he went it's lucky he went then or else dog the bounty hunter was gonna fucking burst through the door you know what's his wife's name um something via tava <laughs> no, i have no idea the bounty hunter. okay oh beth <laughs> beth that's right she could pummel me to death oh me. come on now oh. you're fucking persistent already. you've got a thing for the more kind of powerful packed woman haven't you the, the dominating the ones that go throw you around like a fucking empty tracksuit oh, <laughs> <Mech. Yes. laughs> <laughs> Mechty me. Hey, it's lucky he wasn't at the live show. Right. Anyway. Oh, right. Girl thought to have bad cold. Turns out, what is in her windpipe? She thinks she's got a cold. Oh, you've got to think of some phlegm. Is that a leech? <laughs> <laughs> have you been looking at his screen? It's so big. <laughs> It's, look at his face just dejected you just destroyed his whole build up there you fuck of a man well done I- wait we're back we're back <laughs> we're back can you hear can you hear what happened there was d- one two lurch and his enthusiasm has just Uh-oh. pulled the cable out. oh shit you've I wait, fucked the show you fucked the show everything's going pe- oh no what have you done here we go. I think that's. I think we're good now. We're You're good listening to, to the bitter sound. Oh no, we're cracking away there. Well, wait, don't move. We should be okay. Don't I be think laugh. you've just. Oh, 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 hold on. oh, oh. oh. Don't bang the fucking what have table. You done? Oh. Get out of there. Wait, wait, you guys, wait, tell a story, and I will try and mm. solve the issue. Massive eated motherfucker. <laughs> so anyway, so I fucked your joke. Yeah, uh, you're uh, a on cunt. the show. 
It says here, doctors were surprised when a young patient suffering from throat pain turned out to have a live leech stuck in her windpipe. The seven-year-old from Shatong, Southwest China, uh, was taken to the, the Kunming Children's Hospital by her parents after she began Beautiful. having problems with her people. She went to the Kunming, I mean Kunming, Kunming. Children's Hospital. Okay, right. <laughs> and when they had a wee <laughs> shifty down the old throat, she had a five centimeter. If I can just, if I can just tra- uh, tra- transfer there to the translator stroke eighties nineties pop icon uh, uh, reference person as well. Ben, could you tell us what a wee <laughs> shifty would be? A wee shifty would be they had a, a gander or a, a, a look down her throat with some medical apparatus, and in there they found a leech in the throat. Right. Oh, lovely. Unbelievable, you big-headed motherfucker. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just wrecked the fucking show. Gentlemen, that's been the uh, the news. We are going to, of course, move on now to the emails. And what I'm going to do is, while I, while I make this mail call, and you guys can <laughs> sing along, I'm going to call somebody Ooh. to be online during the emails. Oh. This is exciting. You've got some mail. So I'm, I'm now calling through the magic of Skype. <laughs> To try and get, because there's somebody who I think should be online, or at least, you know, can, can give their opinion when I read out these emails. Is she unable to dip her tits in custard? No, it's a man. Hello, Chris Mack, are you there? Uh, should be, you tell me, can you Chris hear me? Chris Mack, we can hear you loud and clear, so how are you doing? I'm fucking knackered, man. I apologise if my voice goes, I lost it over the weekend. Well, um, of course, Chris, you were down at the uh, Men's Roller Derby World Cup, I believe. So I was, was indeed. Me, yeah. He was, uh, now, of course, you were uh, commentating on commentating duty, were you not? I was unaware that the show was lacking charisma. <laughs> I believe you were commentating during the, uh, the whole I thing, was, were yeah, you? Yeah, sorry, I'm just sighing at that shit fucking joke. I know, exactly. <laughs> Dick. So, yeah, um, no, it was good fun, man. It was three days worth down there, although we fucked up with the flights. Well, say we fucked up. Fucking fly be your cunts. What happened? Supposed to be flying at 10 to 9 on Thursday night, and we get a message saying, oh, flight's been delayed, we'll let you know at 9 o'clock. Uh, 9 right. o'clock comes, oh, we'll let you know in 15 minutes. Oh, we'll let you know 15 minutes later. Half past 9, flight cancelled. Oh, Fuck. dear. Not Robert, yeah. just at 10 o'clock the next morning. So you're, so you're not ba- you're not long back to the Granite City? No, back, uh, back a few hours ago, so... Bloody hell. Well, listen, Chris, I had to call you because we do have a couple of emails that you might need to hear. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ. And, and it'd be good to have you online just, just for your viewpoint for said emails. Okay, go on then. Right. I've got one here that says, Dear Chris Mack, I have been a listener for a good long time now to the DHB and always laugh lots when this show is on. I have to admit, though, I wasn't sure if I liked you or not on previous shows. Oh, as, you always, as you always seemed like the straight man of the group. Maybe not having <laughs> quite as dark a humour as Scott Lurcher Pink. Well, it's a nice fucking change. I wasn't getting called anything close to straight last time I was on. <laughs> but, well, uh, well, hold on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I still liked you being on the show. Recently, I had the chance to watch a show live for the first time. And can I say that after seeing you on camera, I now like you a lot more than I did before. Awesome. You're easily the most handsome of the group. Even more than that selfie obsessed guy, Steve. And every, <laughs> and every time I think about you on the show now, I can't help but think filthy things about you. <laughs> and what I would like to do to you if I had even the slightest chance of meeting you in person. You seemed to react a bit badly to last week's email from the gay guy. Which is why I don't know if I can tell you where I would like to ram my hot, thick cock <laughs> should you ever decide like some man fun. That's what right. That's right. Dick. That's right, Chris. I'm a gay man based in Dundee. I was a well, little, a fucking surprise. I was a, <laughs> I was a little bit shocked at how you reacted to the email previously from your admirer. I'm sorry, but that just turns me on more. <laughs> Thinking of the punishment you would give me leathering my tight ass with a belt and tell me how dirty and immoral I am it may not be your thing but you're certainly a prime cut of beef Chris and I'm sorry to say but borderline homophobia just turns us on more (laughs) hopefully hopefully one day at the next DHB live show we can chat 
and you can wrap that real pretty mouth around my shaft. <laughs> hugs and kisses. <laughs> hugs and, <laughs> hugs, and <laughs> hugs and kisses, Robbie. <laughs> I was losing my fucking voice before I started this. It's getting fucking worse now, you cunt. Uh, uh, so, so, Chris, do you have Mac Attack? Do you have any uh, any comeback there for the lovely Robbie? Well, first off, a gay man in Dundee wouldn't exactly be hard to fucking spot, right, would it? Okay. Jesus Christ! No, I'm not going to wrap anything anywhere except my boot around your fucking skull, you <laughs> dick. I have one more email for you, Mark, before you go. Hi, guys. My name is Connor. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a big fan of the DHB. I don't take offense to the stuff you guys come out with, even though some people might accuse you of being insensitive to other cultures, races, or sexualities. Never. I also didn't take offense to Chris Max's... Max's, <laughs> M-A-X says. Chris Max's reaction to the fan mail he got last time. I know that some people react this way and and it's a bit ridiculous really because people are going to be attracted to other people. He should take it as a compliment that it is and not be horrified that like many other gay men I'm sure, I'd like to make his his mouth my dirty hot cock playground. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, oh Chris, I'm only a young guy but I'm sure I could teach you a few things about pleasure in a man. (laughs) (laughs) If ever... (laughs) <laughs> if, ever, if ever you decide to experiment with yourself, give me a shout, and I'll pack you with more beef than one of Tilly Butcher's famous twenty-pound packs. He said, "I get a full twenty-pound in them." <laughs> and that's Connor Reed from Inverness. Oh God! So Chris. I mean, obviously, that you've, you've you've had two emails there that kind well, of, you know, I mean, I, you obviously you're an icon for the for the the homosexuals, the pure. Well, clearly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you take a fucking picture of me with my pink helmet off your fucking page now, you dick? <laughs> okay. So, oh, uh, hey. anything at all you'd like to say to Connor or Robbie? Two well, of your biggest fans. Connor, that sounds like a fucking Pjofter's name, so good start. <laughs> right, okay, right. You're 22, so you're too fucking young. Uh, clearly, you haven't found the cure for gay yet, so... Oh! Right, right okay, right. Uh, no, beyond that, you're still a dick. <laughs> okay, well... Do you, know, <laughs> do you notice, though, <laughs> how, how you he... You have... find a fucking arse to stick it up. Lurch is more likely to take it, because he's used to packing meat on a daily basis, anyway. Um, 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 he neither here nor there. I can handle <laughs> it. I, I don't knock it. I don't knock it, Chris. Embrace it. Embrace it, Chris, with both hands and your mouth. <laughs> Cut the balls, Chris. And, you, and your dirty whore tits. <laughs> don't neglect the balls. Fuck off. Cut the balls and swallow the gravy. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know um, I've got a fucked up throat just now, but that's near the cure I'm looking for, to be fair. Holy before. shit. Well, listen, Chris, before we move on and let you go <laughs> here. Might have uh, been the cause, though. Can you let us know when you're recording the next episode of uh, Talk Derby to me? Especially me. Uh, this coming Sunday, as far as I'm aware. Fabulous, Which fabulous. should be out on a Monday. And folk can find that, I believe, by looking for your Facebook page, Talk Derby to me. And yeah, facebook.com slash Talk Derby. Or, no, that's just about it just now. Or they can go to no, mixcloud.com slash Talk Derby as well. When should Brilliant. all the emails be in by, Chris? <laughs> Which emails? No one's emailing this yet. What are you about? Have you got any topless pictures of that fucking filthy midnight referee yet? Oh, well, for well, no, but Why? while I'm here, actually, I um, I do have a message for Lurch from when I was having a chat with Cherry the other day. Ooh. For and, Lurch? Uh, um, yeah, for, yeah, well, Ooh. Lurch obviously sent a very delightful uh, email. <laughs> That's right, yes. <laughs> Um, we may have a present for you coming up shortly, but we forgot to take it back Ooh. home. Please tell me it's her shitty drawers. <laughs> <laughs> what we've actually done is we got the little email you sent printed on a t-shirt. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a photo of Cherry on it as well. Oh, nice. With, with her tits. We may have signed it for you. Oh, oh perfect, perfect. I'll pay for the postage. In her, in her fanny batter. Um, <laughs> No, covered in my looks, covered in my bollock brulee shortly, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go, Chris, a uh, quick thing: the chat room. Susan Baker asks, "Get on iTunes. When are you planning to get your RSS feed up and and and?" Make we it will be more? up in the next couple of weeks. I'm basically skint as fuck after this last past weekend, so ah. 
getting the money together has been the only issue so far. But as soon as I get paid again, it's all up and running. We will be going. We'll get all the old shows put up and folk can have a listen back. And uh, Lurch, replace that fucking horn, you dick. Well, you <laughs> could always whore, whore your arse out to all these gay men and make some money on the side, don't oh, you? Know? There you You've go. got a market. You've got a market, sir. You I was going to say, there's a market there, clearly. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, can I get you to make the website? Oh, <laughs> oh I'll buy your hosting space. <laughs> Rent, rent com. I've got a spare okay. hosting site just now. Um, Sunderland Prick to Com or whatnot. <laughs> so how many guys out there are going to hate my arse on fucking Amazon wish lists? For now oh, on just you wait, Paul. Just you wait. You, you and Charles sake. both. Three pounds. <laughs> you and Charles. <laughs> I'm overcharging. Fucking hell. Okay, Mark. We'll catch you earlier on, buddy. Toodaloo, motherfucker. Take care. Toodaloo, News. motherfucker. Rest of my voice. Toodaloo. He's a wee poor Chris. Oh, poor Mark. Oh, from uh, Cherry... Oh, oh, I have a cherry bake. I, I have some news. <laughs> you have some news? I, I may have broken this chair. It's, oh. a, it's, a, it's, a, br- it's a breaky what, episode. <laughs> what have you done to the chair? I didn't see you kind of muck around with it there, but what's uh, happened? Uh, I, I don't know. I was leaning back and it seems to have like maybe broken. So oh, I'm, I'm broken. sitting in the upright position just now for fear of collapse. Do you have a dollar? No, nah, fuck it. We'll do the rest of the show. Like <laughs> right, okay. I caught his delayed reaction in there. It was fucking priceless. There was a crack. <laughs> 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 right, guys, we have one of these. Bend over and shake this dick. Six tips from Baron Von Lurch Monster. Now, I'm going to read this one as it's written. Oh, yeah. Um, it's not written terribly. The grammar's not too bad, but oh, there's no. not... But there's not much punctuation. Will another podcast rip us off with this, do you think? I have no idea. Possibly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lurch, my name is Susan and I'm a big fan of the show and I've, be- I've been in your shop, you are shop, but was too embarrassed to say anything and left with some ribs because Maynard said they were the best ribs and they were very good. I like them. Can you ask your advice on the HBO breathe, show, please? Breathe, so, breathe, breathe. <sighs> my boyfriend gave me pubic lice recently. <laughs> <laughs> And when I got mad, he got mad at me and told me he got them from his mate's bed where he had slept because they had been playing drinking, no, playing Xbox for ages and drinking late for ages. And it was only them there, and I, it was only them there, and I believe him. He said that he had never cheated on me ever, and even when I caught chlamydia before, he said that it was my fault for not washing properly. <laughs> but I think, but I think it wasn't my fault, and that he did it. But I don't know if he did it. Can you give me advice? Thanks, butcher man. Kiss, kiss, Susan Byers. Well, can you please give me some fucking bleach to wash those kisses off? <laughs> what is her name? Susan Byers. Susan, you should, uh, to quote my good friend J.K. Jeremy Kyle, you should have told him to put something on the fucking end of it then. <laughs> You horrible cow! Oh, that's a bit hurtful and wrong. Well, uh, if it's got fucking fromage free in the end of it, if you question the bobby, why are you sucking the bobby? Oh. The, bo- the bottom line is, if the bobby looks like fucking Robert the Bruce's feathers coupon, right, <laughs> right? Then there's something wrong. If you question the bobby, why are you? I like that. Why Eggs are you sucking eagle. the bobby? If you are okay. kissing the fucking, if you're giving the spe, if you have to question the special kisses, why are you giving the special? Rah, kisses? genius. Okay. There you go. That's a rule of thumb from the Baron. Fabulous, gentlemen. That spells an end to tonight's proceedings. Uh, before we go, I've got some folk to thank. I've also got. I've got to thank, of course, our sponsors for this show. Of course, uh, we're sponsored by a guy called Ian Lee's. Who has a website? A big bald cunt called oilfueledtrash.wordpress.com. Is he also, big in oil? I've, I believe so. Yes, but if you also look on Facebook, you can find Oil Fueled Trash. Uh, search for it there. You find his page. Give it a look. It's some good stuff in there. So have a look for oilfueledtrash.wordpress.com. Also, big thanks again to, of course, our other sponsor, Paul Law, the artist who came up with our new our new logo, our new group logo, which is fucking awesome. Go and check out his Tumblr page, Paul Draw. Dot tumblr dot com. It's it's well worth looking at. This guy's got some mad skills, let me tell you. Did I just say mad skills? Was I born in the eighties? Well, he has got some good skills. He has got some good he skills. He made my head look proportionately average, <laughs> like actually. it is in real life. <laughs> okay. Uh, we also <laughs> also folks again uh, keep on using our. Oh, hold on though, hold on, because we do have uh, a caller. Um, hold on. Hello, Hello. caller. You're on the show. <laughs> Now then, now then, now then, oh! now then. Zombie. Sable. Hello, Zombie Sable, sir. How are you doing? I'm not so bad, you'll say. I've been down here rotting in the grave for some time, so it's lovely, lovely. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't want that gets me every time. So I've got a quick question. You fire away. How did the zombie Savile celebrate steak and a blowjob day? Well, you'll see. I mean, with the old mate and two veg. They were my veg, and strangely enough, not my mate either. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So what brings you to call in this week? How's your week been, Mr. Savile? Well, my week's been lovely, you'll say. I mean, obviously, I can't exercise down here in the grave. Okay. But I heard about the zombie app that you were talking about earlier, you'll say. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course, the zombie oh. running app, yes. Well, oh, I've dear. come... I'm oh, thinking fuck. about a zombie saddle app. <laughs> right, okay, okay, right. I can see it going. times you from the moment you're born to around 12, <laughs> and if it's caught by me, then it tells you a number of a solicitor when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking horrible bastard. Don't be soulful, thank you very much, Tiddly, motherfucker. Thank you, bye bye. Oh, sweet Jeebus Crepes, okay, it's so. It's been quite a breaky episode, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Well, <laughs> stop breaking things for fuck, two of you for fuck's sake. Uh, folks, <laughs> the microphone's getting broken, chair's getting broken. So Guys, get um, unplugged. Again, uh, please keep on using our uh, our dhbamazon.co.uk link for your Amazon purchases. Again, cost you nothing to use, apart from obviously your, your regular purchases you buy yourself. But we get a wee commission for using that, and it really helps pay the bills here. But more so, helping to pay the bills comes from dhbshop.com. This is our newly relaunched site. We will be pimping out the uh, the kind of the man behind the offer as well very shortly when he gets his own site on the go. But these guys have done a fucking knockout job. This stuff's top quality. It's shipped fast and it looks the the mutts nuts. Is, let me tell you. Is there a staff discount page? There, there is. Yes. Ooh. There is. A, a, there is. There's like a wee code I'll give you, but you won't know. And so, I, I would also like to say that uh, a new upcoming promotion in the Tilly Butcher is for every ten pounds you spend in the butcher when you say that you're a DHB listener. The Lurch Monster will give us two pounds. <laughs> hey! <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. So, folks, of course, go to uh, dhbshop.com, please. That's again, really helps the show out, and uh, you, you can look fucking awesome with your new kit. I, Everything I, there from mugs to key rings to hoodies to t-shirts. You and I would, like to, I would like to chip in and say that thank you to the fresh couple of uh, uh, reviews that we've had in iTunes. Only one of them has called me a cunt, which makes a change from the fucking four out of five last week. Uh, so, yeah, give us uh, some more reviews. Five star reviews, preferable. Exactly. Thank you, folks. Toodaloo. Good night. God bless. You've been fantastic. <laughs> uh, lovely black ass. Such a little pink vein in the, <laughs> in the middle there. Beat of sweat. Piles, a bumpy ride. Medium rare Wilson. <laughs>